Theseus Vasilius Tavros is a warrior cleric on a religious pilgrimage. His primary focus is to find an artifact that will help his home, the Minotaur city-state of Voskia, and the Order of the Maze that he represents as he traverses the world. In his order, he is called a navigator, a young adventurer who will find his place in the church and Voskian society through great deeds. Minotaurs are sometimes seen as primitive barbarians in Almora, but Theseus considers himself quite civilized. He enjoys solving problems, using logic and conflicts, and helping people navigate the labyrinth and acts of self-discovery. As he travels, he hopes that he can disprove the belief that all minotaurs are evil and savage, and learn a thing or two along the way. Barley Braun is a three-foot-tall, 30-pound uh, halfling rogue. He can easily be thrown. Um, he is very self-serving and very um, individualistic. Uh, doesn't tend to get along well with others, but is so desperate for fun and ed entertainment in his own life that um, he is desperate for this kind of adventure. So um, he'll be interesting to play, I think. Gaius Berezin is a human one-armed fighter who comes from the land of Hals. Years ago, he was a soldier in the Halsian army, until one day he comes home to his hometown of Ebenstone to find that his wife and children had been murdered in a raid from Valaris. He swore vengeance on those who killed his family, but in his rage, he loses his arm. He falls on hard times and hard drinks for a few years, but eventually he comes to realize that life is still worth living and swears to live life to the fullest until he can meet his family again in the next life. Hi everyone, my name is Christine, and I am playing Vita Teidai, pronouns they, them, a lizard folk, wild magic sorcerer. They come from a community where there has not been a wild magic user in quite some time, so their magic is pretty out of control, and when they decided mm, maybe they wanted to go see the world, their village was very excited about it. So now, Vita's just out roaming around trying to get their magic under control. And uh, that's when they meet up with this party. My name is Robbie, and uh, I play Red in the Amora RPG campaign along with his faithful companion and sidekick, Herschel. Uh, Red is a shifter ranger who um, grew up in Perea in a tiny little town called Aramor. One day uh, his entire town uh, was destroyed. When he was five he eventually made his way uh, to Nagual over near the coast. Some of his personality is that because he's been you know just out hunting for a good good portion of his life he doesn't have the best social skills. You know he gets his stuff done. He's pretty uh pretty quiet but also um determined and uh very methodical about getting it done and uh super reliable about getting it done he's uh he's gonna see it through so uh i hope you guys enjoy it thanks so i play rhythm a tabaxi druid i grew up in a little town called hazel drum which is on the border between uh paria and halls I grew up there with my adoptive mother, a human woman who found me wandering in the forests when I was about a year old. She died a few years back, uh, and I found out pretty darn quick that without her protection, I was not welcome in Hazel Drum anymore. So I've been wandering. I ran into some druids who taught me druidic magics and helped me harness some powers that I've had pretty much my entire life. Um, but I've been sticking to the outskirts, avoiding towns and villages. But I ran into this minotaur a little while ago named Theseus, who has been, I don't know, making me wonder if I should give towns a second chance. So now he and I are trying to figure out what to make of life as to kind of strange creatures in this weird world. <laughs> but that's me. That's Rhythm. Theseus Vasilius. Robbie likes to use the laser on his pube hairs. Yeah, but who doesn't? Yeah.
Yes, that's... Hello, everyone. <laughs> I like to use lasers. He just really wants to be Dennis. Look, the system... Again, who doesn't? Look, the system works. Looks that sweet, sweet burn. Who doesn't want to be a sociopathic, possibly serial killer, womanizing uh, failure in life? Who doesn't want to be a golden god? Yeah. <laughs> Rob, what are you watching? Oh, I'm not watching anything. I'm, I'm getting on Almora. You the, there's Sorry, video the playing. Oh, where are we? Where do we get this ad money? Like, where's that happening? It's like pennies, dude. You get less than bullshit. Pennies. <sighs> Let's invent our own platform. Hey, it's Taco Bell. We got Taco Bell money. <laughs> Wants Taco Bell money. I want to go. I mean, honestly, of all the people we could be getting money from, it's not as bad as it could be. Yeah. It could anyway. be Frito Lay. So here's the, 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 the here's thing. The what I'm saying. What I'm saying here is Frito Lay, guys. Why are you supporting people? Texas, come on. <laughs> Oh, God. Texas. <laughs> Texas, come on. Come on. Oh, buddy. Anyway, go on. Uh, the, the, the state of things is that we... We have a guest tonight, but they're not here. We also have a cleric in the party now, and they're not here. And Rhythm's just not here. <laughs> There's a guest at least. Yay! We Hi. got a guest. You got a guest in me. <laughs> uh, nice, Dana nice. is is working though, whereas uh, Allie was just at at dinner having a grand old time. Your mom's at nah, dinner. Nah, she got there at like five, and they just brought her food like twenty minutes ago. So, yikes! Typical story. Okay, I'll be back. It's COVID though. Okay, bye. Look okay, at that guest cat. Is gone again. That cat right there. With my cat? Yeah. That one? Yeah. That's Ophelia. Ophelia I put, notes. I put a lot of furniture around where I sit so that hopefully they'll leave me alone. And that's the beanbag chair. There's a cat tree there for Hamlet. And then there's like pillows behind the shit for, I guess, Othello or Hamlet. They can switch. It doesn't matter. Your mom yeah, cat switches. It doesn't matter. Maybe. Your mom plays the Nintendo Switch. That's not true. Hey, uh, Charlie, does your mom play the Nintendo Switch? Is Charlie here? Yeah. I didn't even notice. Who is, uh, Finn? Finn again? What is that song about Michael Finn again? What's that song about Scotty not knowing? Scotty doesn't know. From the greatest movie of all time, Matt Damon's best role. Oh, yeah. That was Matt Damon? Yeah. Talking about... He was the singer in the oh. band that says Scotty doesn't know. That's oh. hysterical. That's the best role he's ever done. Huh? Oh, God. What is the name of it? What is the name of that movie? Eurotrip. Oh, Europe, right. Yeah, there not... it is. Wasn't Michelle Trachtenberg also in it? Yep. Oh, with the rapey European dude. Yeah, with uh, yeah. Fred Armisen. And he's like, Miss Goosey. Yeah, every yeah, time yeah, they go, that was... every time they go in the, uh, every time they go in the tunnel and he just progressively gets more and more naked and closer and closer. He did a very good job with that. <laughs> yeah. Do we it's... think perhaps he was being a little method? I don't know. Is that what Fred Armisen is like? Is he? Is he a? I don't know. A rapey I guy? Think he meant, oh, I don't know. That's it's just, just it's weird how much like even the stuff when we went to high school. You go back and watch it, and it's kind of cringy because we've all learned a lot in the last ten years. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, sexual assault jokes aren't that funny. Uh probably should chill out on that and hey casual racism's thing we should probably be aware of 
Oh, transphobia. Guess what? Tons of that, yeah. This, this is all yeah. coming up because I pranked Brian so hard last <laughs> night. I fucking pranked the shit out of this man, and I'm so proud of it. Admittedly, part of this is Sarah's fault. <laughs> Sarah? God damn it, Sarah. What happened? We can't hear you, Sarah. Oh. Well. I wasn't talking. <laughs> uh, yeah, you were. Your mouth was moving. I know. I wasn't actually using. Oh, you were just mouthing the noise. Word. What do you want? <laughs> uh, what? So, so for for reasons, Robbie was like, "You should. Uh, you have to watch Mean Girls because I'm gonna use oh, that. Yeah, and there's gonna be references." And I was like, "I don't know if I want to watch that." And Sarah's like, oh, "I'd be okay. Let's just go ahead and watch it." I was like, "All right, you sure? That's what you want to do?" And she's like, "Yeah." Turns out, and this shouldn't be a surprise to people who've been paying attention, Tina Fey is uh casually racist and ableist and transphobic and like very specifically homophobic but at the same time paints herself to be an ally it's weird yeah and then it's at awkward. the and then after watching it, it's like oh yeah we're not gonna do that at all so you just watch that for no reason it was my oh. idea not to do it it's oh. i pranked myself really because we had we were talking we had a separate conversation and i was like that's way better that is way better. At least we learned. It does still we involve learned. Tina Fey, though. So. Yeah. Tina Fey was like the lead writer for that, wasn't she? Yeah. 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 And yeah. like the part where she has uh, Asian folks just casually drop the N word as a joke, like, it's bad. It's yeah. so bad. It's been a while since I've seen Mean Girls. Apparently. Yeah, it's, been... it's not great. <sighs> um. We're going. I mean, and it's the same thing. And I'm I'm stalling for time, basically trying to get uh Corn and uh Allie and Dana here. But um, the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt show, like, admittedly, uh, Titus Burgess is a treasure, and I hope he gets all the success in the world because he's fucking hilarious, even in spite of that show. But um, like the fact that they who's the who's the girl um that's also in Thirty Rock that they cast for that show. I can never remember Jenna. her name, the actual actress. Jenna something. Jenna from the girl? Yeah. It's Jess. Um, is that her real name? No, I was, I was just singing oh, at the end okay. of the new guy. Oh, gotcha. No, but the... Ha! Um, ha! <laughs> I... <laughs> Sorry. The, um, the chick who plays Jenna in 30 Rock uh, plays a Native American... And she runs around in the headdress a lot and makes fun of like Native American culture and stuff. And then they like call out racism, but only specifically for black people and like make fun of Asians and Native Americans throughout the rest of the show. It's very weird. Mm. So anyway, Tina Fey, come on. Come on. Come on, son. Come on. Who who says that? I forget who says come on, son. That's uh Dulé oh, that's uh, Dulé Gus. is Gus from uh, psych. Yeah, Gus from uh, uh, Psych. Come on, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, son. Come on, son. You gotta do the thing with Come your. No- you gotta do the thing with your nose too, where you do the. Come on, son. Yeah. Oh yeah, that. So anyway, what happened last uh, time? Charlie, Charlie's very excited that Corny's here. <laughs> Charlie is always excited. That's mm. objectively not true, or true. Excitable. True. Yeah. Oh, that's the word, yeah. Easily angered. Yes. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah. So what happened last time? Yeah, um, so so while uh, Allie was out to dinner, Corn couldn't watch the last couple episodes, even though I specifically asked Allie... What happened to them? Uh, anyway, so everybody helped Phil Corn in. The last time he was here was when you guys fought came. Oh, wow. Oh, a oh lot my. happened. <laughs> uh, we lost a player. Yeah. But we gained a player. Um, the end. Uh, Theseus. Yeah. Uh, Theseus left us. Uh, we got yeah, new, that's so very new cool shit. Yeah. We got cool shit. Um, I forget all of the cool shit. Do you want to talk about the cool shit or should I back, go over the other I shit? I have no idea when the other players are going to get here. Feel free to just go in. 
It's so excruciating cool. detail. Uh, so Vita got a cool staff thing. Oh yeah, cool. It's related to their ancestor. Uh, that also, I think, also had it. I don't remember. Um, it was an ancestor that uh, was also a wild magic user in a community that is very strictly lawful, lawful good. And this was an ancestor that uh, nobody in her commu- nobody in their community had uh, told them about. So discovering things about themselves that maybe they're a little more natural than they thought. And also, like, they visited their grave at, like, an arborist graveyard that's being maintained by Loxodon druid type folks. Yeah. And essentially... I want to be buried there. Right? I, wanna, I want that job. Um, <laughs> but yeah. They uh, essentially, Vita death. visits the grave, is gifted by the tree that represents their ancestors' grave, the staff that Moangata had used. So now they've got a sweet, sweet staff. Sweet, sweet, badass staff. Oh, also, we have a badass ship that yes. we stole we from fucking slavers. Pirates. Slavers. <laughs> Yeah. Slavers. <laughs> it's okay. The word is fine. We, now, did. Bitch. we killed them all. <laughs> you trade, you trade yeah, we killed you trade in your life for a boat. Also, we have like essentially turned good Davy Jones as our ship's captain. Yes. yes. Nice. Which, uh, he's fun. Cog. He is a. What is he again, Brian? A Marinola. I'll show, I'll show the it's official a art. It's law, you know. Era. Um, and yeah, Thesis decided to go back to his era. homeland. Um, Thesis went back to his homeland to take care of... I forget now. He had to report he something. He had to bring back soup for his Correct. family. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what it was. Oh, and, it's soup again. Okay. Um, we uh, took some of the enslaved people that we rescued off the ship back to their homelands. And we also went to, oh god, I can't remember the first place. We're still trying to go to all these different, like, dungeons um, that originally we were sent they to, are sanctuaries. to by... Yes, um, they are basically the tombs of the Perean Five. Is that right? Um, mm-hmm. They're the people of uh, the the first twelve chapters of the book I'm working on. I sent to you, Corn. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, very important to the plot, uh, but also they're all dead, and their tombs are where we're going. Um, one of the places uh, was, oh, shit, I'm not doing a good job. Um, it was like flooded, basically, and it became more flooded because of a certain being that was supposed to be helping us, but it turns out she was a fucking liar and, and a fiend. And a fiend. Was she a bitch and a yeah. lover, a child and, and a mother? A sinner and a saint. <laughs> she did not feel ashamed. No. <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Um, no, I wouldn't. Have Tina. There's Tina. Hello. 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 Dana, we have a guest. Oh so. yes. How are you? All right. Good. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna try not do radio voice all night. No, no do the radio voice. It's fine. Oh, yeah. it sounds so smooth. Like butter. Oh, um, you know what, guys? It's been long enough. Uh, Lefiris is uh, gonna change his voice. What? <laughs> That's fair. This is acceptable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, okay. This, this is happening. What else happened? Uh, so we found out recently because of uh, Dene. Um. Who is vacuuming? About the fiend. Oh, it's my fan. Probably. Hang on. Sounds like a fiend. 
Yes. Do you still hear it? <laughs> yeah. 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 It's quieter now. It's okay. I'll turn it off. It's just hot as balls in here. Anyway, um, so you know? Danae uh, showed us that um, the goblin that was helping us before was actually not helping us. <laughs> That's a gnome. No. Oh, I thought she was a goblin. Mm-mm. Oh, I'm Don. Okay, never mind. Um, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, she was a jerk and apparently a fiend also. Sabotaging um, us as we went along. Yeah. We... You killed her dead, right? No. no. She got away. Um, she did slip. We went to see some dragonborns at their city. Dragons. Straight dragons. I thought they were dragonborns. Straight up dragons. Oh, well. So, yeah. That's wrong. How about that? The most recent turn of events. Uh, Yeah, we we saw dragons, but uh, Alias arrived with (laughs) a dragonborn (laughs) That he stole from the queen (laughs) of Beckon. (laughs) One of her kids. One that was slated to be uh, sacrificed for, quote-unquote, the good of the nation. This is some Q- QAnon yeah. shit. Woo! So kidnapping. All right. Yeah. 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 Kidnapping, but, like, also to save the kid's life because the kid was going to be, like, murdered. And they were raised knowing that they were going to be sacrificed to maintain the dynasty ruling Beckett Empire. Crazy stuff. Still kidnapping, but... Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, it I was, understand. It's good and bad. Um, we're trying Also, to... in other news, um, <laughs> Brink, you're farted, and I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oof. Oh, no. I'm not having a good time. Well, we're gonna have to find another person to replace Rob. <laughs> it's killed by farts. Quick, someone... Nose goes, who gets the cursed arm now? Oh, God. <laughs> I just so, want to stop talking about my grand, my nephew like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Somewhere he's... along about seven years ago, I just lost the ability to smell most things. So the, the most atrocious things do not even, like, I don't even smell them. And I, I think that means I'm dying, but it hasn't taken yet. So, um oh. That's not good. Yeah. Really makes taking the trash out uh, something I don't think about until it's like, take the trash out. It smells terrible. I'm like, what smell? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> I have not smelt this smell since I've smelt the last one. You clearly haven't <laughs> dealt smell. it. You can never have dealt it. That is the rules. All right. Uh, so, uh, since we have e- everybody but one player, which, by the way, did we? Has, can anyone get an ETA from Allie? Um, but to, to sum up, yeah, so what's important over the last couple of sessions is uh, the players have been going to various uh, burial sites uh, trying to figure out who has been tampering with them. Um, there was this huge meeting that they attended that they keep forgetting that they were at. Um oh, yeah where representatives from all of the city-states of Perea were there basically accusing each other of tampering with these sites. There is the belief that those sites are what help protect the uh, the nation of Perea, um, that they somehow magically assist in the peace and prosperity of the nation. Um, so someone said, hey, you're tampering with it, and someone else said, don't blame me. He wrote me into this. Well, that guy over there wrote me into this. Well, he said, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so they were sent out with Seely. Seely uh, presented herself as uh, basically an archaeologist of sorts, said that she had seen some stuff at the sites, but was too weak to do anything about it herself. So she needed help. She uh, escorted folks to the, the party to the first three before uh, Don A joined, Don A was able to cast Detect Good and Evil, realized that Seely was a fiend. Seeing that she had been detected, she slipped away, so that was a big deal, because they she'd been with you guys for like eight sessions or something like that? Mm-hmm. For months she's been with us. Yeah. Yep. Months. 
Yep, the whole time. Um, so the group got really paranoid in the next session and cast uh, uh, got a lantern of revealing to see invisible things. They saw that they were being scried on. They thought that it was Seely who was scrying on them. Alias, basically sort of panicking as a result of being detected, shows up on the boat and is like, oh, by the way, uh, I kidnapped the Empress's child because uh, uh, I, I don't want him to be... Um, I don't, want, yeah, I don't want him to be sacrificed because it seems like bullshit. So can you guys hide me? I'm, I'm just going to like sit on your boat till I get somewhere and I can walk away because they can track me for a little while. So that's where we're at. That's where we'll pick up the session. Um, All right. You guys are on the boat of the chain breaker, the slaver ship that was stolen uh, and renamed, uh, piloted by Cog the Marinoloth. What would you guys like to do? Weren't we going oh. to yeah. an Close island? Away. Yeah, we were. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, we knew where it was, and we kind of were almost there. At the end okay. of the last session. If not there, I don't remember. Uh, exactly. I forget. Red had said something about helping Alias with the child and finding a place where they hunted. Uh, did you already do that? Is that done? Did they leave? No, they're still on the boat. Yeah. They, they're oh, not right. leaving. Yeah. They're doing it after, right? After mm -hmm. a while? Okay. <sighs> after okay, we get out of the is. middle of the ocean. Ocean, though, right? Ocean, though, right? So with Cog driving, we'll say that this is four days of travel. This all started on Pratum the 6th, which means that this will be Pratum the 10th that you arrive. Now, is there anything that you guys want to do, shore up, talk to Alias about before you guys get there? Uh, probably, <clears throat> but <throat> if I know what that is, <clears throat> fuck, I don't. <clears throat> Same. Um... Maybe more information on the child he has stowed away on your boat, or that'd be cool. Do we we don't even know their name yet. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, I I think I asked, didn't I? Or no, I did, just asked. And I oh. I didn't answer because I hadn't <laughs> written it yet. Uh, his name is I R L Beckon. So it's spelled I A R A L. He's he's Beckon, Beckon in real life. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That. Wow. Wow. Um. So, can I ask Alias about learning a spell ahead of time that allows me to, um, to trace or track anybody? that is trying to scry us or something. Cause I know we talked about me leveling up to do that, but could I, <laughs> could I be like, Alias, hey, buddy, Al. Um, hey, it'd be bud. super neat if you just taught me that spell so I could just, when you fuck off, I can still protect us. Cause uh, it'd be super, super neat of you. If you could just give can. me that. <laughs> Is that that kid? Is that that kid? Yes. Yelling the about kid. dog being in the house. The kid needs to go outside, not the dog. <laughs> and that elf the out. They're being jerks, so Gavin. I hate that kid so much. Oh, uh, why? He is annoying. <laughs> He is the most annoying. Don't get me wrong. All children are annoying, but he is the paragon of child annoyance. He's just Strong very feelings. loud and never shuts up. I hate him so much. Was I Gavin wrong? I'm gonna replace all. I'm gonna replace everything he owns with a cabbage. <laughs> so specific. That's a that's a that's a lot of that's a lot. It's based on that's, that's, like a child parts. Like that's a lot of that's a lot of coleslaw, man. That's a lot of coleslaw. 
Yeah. You definitely need to be socialized, I think. But that's what I see, man. Uh, that's in uh that's a comedian um reference. He's referencing the man that uh pranked or had a child prank um his father, I believe it was. Or also pranked him, I think, with just putting a bunch of cabbages in weird places. Him Here's the thing, though. Weird. Uh, if he if he's so bad, then the airplane will eat him. So, you know, you can't. Why would you airplane. say this? Why would you say this? So you want to learn that spell? Right. Yeah. Is it was it a spell or was it a eldritch invocation? I don't fucking know. It's a warlock thing. Hold on. Hang on. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to remember. Um, I'm going to tell you about warlocks. They got a sugar daddy. <laughs> Show me the lie. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. You'll have to find... I guess it is an invocation. Wait a minute. What's the name of it, though? Was it from Xanathar's, or was it the player? Uh, Scry Sensor. Detect Magic? Oh. No, that's not the one you want. Let's um... see. Guys is just pacing the boat. Oh! Maybe it was fun. something about invisibility. Um... It was Anticipate Peril. Oh, thank you. No, it wasn't. Damn it. <laughs> That's my spell. Get out of here. Fuck. <laughs> it was my spell uh, called Emp Emp Empathy. I was going to say. I can't remember. It's, it's, it's um, Fire Truth. Okay, give me this, give me this, give me this. I need to just take Tech better Frost. notes. Telepathic Network. Starshooter. Ancestral Alice. Resident Echo. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out here in a minute. And I'm still basically stalling. Did, did, did we get anything from Allie? Did anybody even try? I don't think so. Uh oh. Uh... Give me a minute. Because I don't. Oh, Corn took to care start... of it. Oh. Thank you, Corny. I'm trying to avoid putting you guys in a dungeon without your part. Yeah, I wanna go to the dungeon. Wait, um, wasn't wasn't rhythm a potted plant last yes. time? Yes. Yes. So like we could probably start and just have rhythm not be a little miniature cattails plant. That's yes. fair. Needs your mom's here fair. so I can be like, hey. That was also a thing. Eat the wild magic surged and turned rhythm into a plant this time. Oops. Oh no, I'm a plant now. How did that happen? How did I become <laughs> plant? In Russian. <laughs> now I'm a Russian plant. In Soviet, In Soviet Russia. Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Plant becomes you. <laughs> you drink um, enough vodka, you do become vegetative. You do, you do become a potato. You do end up becoming a potato. I have seen it happen. In Soviet Russia, plant buries you. Yes. Dispel magic, Brian? No. It, bury, it buries you because you get cirrhosis and die. <laughs> yeah. Holes in my liver. That I'll just out that's just speed bit. holes. It just makes the liver work faster. Very more aerodynamic. For like the shortest period of time. Nah, man, I got this. Don't worry. Fresh hole gives you wings. <laughs> Cirrhosis gives you holes. Mm. So you become holy. Yeah. Mm. Can we then follow this line of logic that, like, if you have sorosis, you become sacred? 
if you have Body cirrhosis, Christ. you become Body holier Christ. than thou. Bow before my holy liver. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what I haven't done in a long time? Fucking bitten somebody. I get like three points of health, temporary health, if I oh. like. Oh. In the game. In the game. In the game. No, that's Rob, a whole different no. thing. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I didn't think we were talking about kinks again. I mean, look at this cat. I'm this cat up. right here has a wizard's hat and a scarf. This is the best cat. I can't. Cat right here that I'm looking at. That All is right. an adorable cat. I'm pushing a map to you. Whee! Ooh. Keep mapping. Keep mapping. And I need to put your characters on the map. So we what will what? put down a barley. Oh, wait, no. I forgot that I can't do it this way. I have to do it a different way. Fantasy Grounds, please sponsor please us. Please sponsor us. Fantasy Grounds. I would like your your money, please. The Grounds, who are fantastical, please sponsor us. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have a fantasy. Plans in which... We have flights of fancy. The please. fantasy, which is grounded in reality. Please sponsor us. So, We're not going to stop until you sponsor us. This is yeah, actually yeah. probably true. I'll put rhythm over here in the event that she shows up. No. Why is it... I need you to push me the map again. All right. Hang on. Punch me in the map again. We'll also say so. Um, Alias will will do some research and see what he can do to help you. Um, put Lafirth over here because he's basically just going to appear. Um, so, yeah, a is there anything you guys need to ask Alias? I'm sorry, I, I was trying to answer that question, and I feel like I'm going crazy because I know. Can I ask him a, uh, what his reading is on? This current island that we're on. He knows lots of things. Uh, he has pretty good intuition and wisdom and perception. What, what, What's his take on this whole thing? Um, didn't roll high enough to know. Unfortunately. Which is hard. God, him. you're useless. And you stole a kid? Fuck. Come uh, on. I, I, Point yeah. of fact, this child was not headed to happy fate. So. No happy meals where he was going. No. Push me that. What are they calling him now? <laughs> I think they're changing the name of that. Push me that map what? again. Happy meals. The. Um... Wait, they're changing the name of Damn a happy it. meal? Why doesn't it work? Yeah. All right, I'll change. I'll fix this. What's going on? It's not like in Yo, the map. That's weird. It's it's. I'm not even doing no, fancy no, stuff no, the, this time. No, the map is it's it's uh trying to get it in the stream. It's nothing you did. Uh, Everything else is fine. It's just. I see. We're gonna get rid of that. Stacy's map. It's got a go in map. <laughs> Oh shit, that's a big map now. Fix it. Oh. No, it's a big oh. map. Oh. Oh. What? The map shoe is big. What? I fixed it. <laughs> you fixed it. I saw it. It takes time. It man. was big for a second. I know. It takes a little time a to turn the Titanic back around. Brian, what? stop looking. I sent you stuff. Well, I'm. 
Then just what is it? Stop looking and look at the thing I sent you. There's two options. I can we three. can we explore this place now? Uh yeah. yeah, so you guys appear uh on an island. There is uh a small I mean it's it's a relative an island. I mean I guess it is an island. It's tiny. Um like me. It's yes, like Robbie. It is um It's true to life size. I don't know, quarter, quarter of a mile, you know, uh, in either direction. Barely enough uh, room for you guys to even like find somewhere to uh, get off the boat without Alias basically helping you get over there. Um, there is a small stone door that goes down into this with water that kind of flows into it. Um, you enter the cave. Yes, now you can explore. What was it that we are to expect? Scary voices and it, whispers? It was, Does Vita remember hang this? Hang on, I got it right here. It was, uh... Murky Waters, Voices, and Head. Uh, mm. I guess I'll take the lead with my survival and other ratings. Uh... Where, uh, I guess if I'm heading forward, I'm going to run into a guy here, aren't I? I need you to unlock tokens. God damn it. I have to do everything around here. Uh, I'm going to run into this blue guy here. Yes, yeah, so Lapira <laughs> appears before you. Yeah! Well... Well, yeah. you're back. This obsession with calling me your father is odd. I have daddy Cease. issues, okay? This is not acceptable. What issues don't you have? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to hear any more of your lips, sir. Just because uh, you're my other dad. Don't you be jealous. <laughs> but Alkins do not have lips. I guess, uh... <laughs> nice. How do you drink? This is horrible. Carefully. Oh. Oh. oh my god. I have learned jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what are what are you doing here? <laughs> Apparently Vita has made another wild magic surge and I have appeared. Yes. This is Rhythm. Hopefully, rhythm will come out of plant state soon. It's been about 24, 48 hours. This is longest Vita has ever gone. Well, uh. The cat is now a plant. Yes. Fascinating. Would you like to continue here or go back home? May we dissect the plant? Oh. No, no, no. She's still alive. Uh. The plant is still rhythm, so we yeah. must we must keep plants whole. Last time somebody plucked leaf from Vita, Vita had to grow back tail, so let's not do that. Understandable. Let's move. Also, what? we have a new cleric. Oh, look, it's our new cleric. I'm, I'm, yeah, freaking white here. We have a cleric look. now. New cleric. Not, not Theseus. Yeah. <laughs> This is Danae. This is not the Minotaur. No. No. Nope. Fascinating. I'm Lapirth. That's all I say. Not just. <laughs> <laughs> the oil of Olivier. <laughs> so why is Lepirith? Why, why do we find Lepirith here on this random island? This is crazy. I turn and walk away. <laughs> okay. Hey. So that's question Lefreith wants to ask. I uh, Wait, cool. I continue walking forward, I guess, with Lefreith, uh to this first little intersection. Wait, I think you have to unlock me. Oh, me too. <laughs> I did unlock you guys. What the hell? Oh, weird. Maybe I need to refresh oh, my What the hell? Dad. Dad. 
Dad. <laughs> dad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not your dad. Shh. No one asked you, other dad. <laughs> pretty sure I'm not your dad either. But yeah, I'm still uh, on mine. Maybe I'm you not my real father. <laughs> Let me see if I can specifically unlock your token. Mm, no. Did you claim, when you logged in, did you claim Lefirith? I did not. That may be the issue there. Me. I don't know if I can do, do I just exit and go back into it? You just go to characters to the right. You yeah. Just go to characters. And... Yeah. Click on your boy. It's your boy. I do not have uh, an option for that. Fantasy grounds. Uh, yeah, you might need to go out because I see that there's an unnamed thing in here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Please sponsor us. No problem. Yeah, please give us money or fix your shit. But if they give us yeah, money, indeed. they can't use it to fix the shit. Yeah, that's why I'm giving them we the option. Them more money. <laughs> that's fair. Let's have fancy grounds for free. So, team. while this is happening... Red, can I get? Yes, a... you can. Oh, yeah. Wisdom saving. Actually, throw. no, you can't. So we're we're, right, we're right. not gonna do that. Uh, but hang on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cause I am gonna do that. Give me one second. It's wisdom. Yeah, wisdom saving throw. Uh, seventeen. Okay, you're good. All right. Uh, whenever you guys want to join me up here, uh, oh, okay. we can go, oh, shit. looks like off to, uh, the left or continue straight ahead. If I take a peek to, uh, the left there, what do I see? Uh, there is a passageway going up into, uh, a chamber. It goes up. Not up, but like north, I should say. What was the reason for the wisdom saving throw? I don't know if we addressed that. Well, I passed, so he's not going to tell us. Ah, uh, all, right. all right. Yeah, he just he feels sort of a thing and shakes it off. Why is Lafira this very confusing? What looking person? I, on I just screen? I just grabbed it. It was the. Yeah. Why does he look like? Something out of like Mist ninety five. Yeah, this that's is like weird. Their, it's, that's their stuff, and I don't have like this is not the machine I would normally use, so none of my stuff is here. Oh, uh, but you can move them now. It looks like. No, I just. Did oh, that. you, can you move Lafira. I still can't. What? I don't know. Um, All right, hold on a second. Let me. Oh, I still can't move them. That's a cat. Yeah, it is a cat. I'm trying to convince him to stay on my lap, but he's he's not quite there yet. He likes to go do I, stuff. Okay, bye. Yeah, he does. <laughs> right, exiting and entering again. Uh, so you guys want to go off to the left or continue straight, or do you just want me to make a decision? I will be following. Or do you behind. just want me to make a decision? Because ambivalence. I said we go to the left. To the left we go. All right. I head over this way into this uh, room. I can't quite tell, like, does it branch off to the left and the right, and they both come into this room, or what? Um, yeah, either either way. Basically, like, there were, you can tell that it's kind of corroded in through well, I'm gonna, years and years. of. I'm going to head into there. Okay. The floors here are wet and slimy. Uh, you need to be careful where you're stepping or you feel like you're going to slip and fall. As you go in, I need you to make a uh, dexterity check. Oh, bro, come on. Here we go. 
Uh, that's a 24. <laughs> Dex is like my whole, oh! is my whole thing. Barley and Vita, Dex okay. check. Does Herschel need to make On one? It. I'm going to say a cat's probably fine. All right. Four legs, probably good. Not 20. You're good. Barley. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. You're muted. I don't know why I'm muted. I thought I fixed that. It's nine. All right, Barley falls on his ass immediately. No. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> what did you What did you roll? Uh, a three, and I have a plus six. Uh, okay, that checks out. <laughs> All right, uh, guys. Oh, I gotta roll a thing. Yeah, roll a dexterity. Anyone who's going in this room, yeah, has to roll a dexterity check. Uh, Donna also falls on her ass immediately. No. <laughs> Seventeen. I don't. Mm. I'm going to. Is it dexterity save? Yeah, dexterity check. And I'll just go ahead and move Lefirith and Donnie over here, I guess. Buddy, it's okay. He's in, like, a whole different part of the house. <laughs> My roommate has a guest in two rooms over, and Eddie just went, like, no, Aww. and then head under the bed. Oh. Uh, that's going to be a 12. Okay. Uh, Lefirith, like, starts to slip a little bit, but monk reflexes come in, and he catches himself. Monk. There's nothing else in this room aside from a couple of crumbled statues in the center. Hmm. Uh, can I do a uh, investigation check on statues? Sure. I will assist. Does that All mean right. advantage? Yeah. Good, I might need that. Uh, yeah, that's better. That is... Mm, where's my plus on that? I don't know, 19. I would have had like a 11, but... Okay, so with a 19, it appears like you kind of look at the pieces. If you were to put them back together, they would probably look like sea elves. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to turn to Dane and go, hey, uh, does that whole detect good and evil thing work on just whole general vibes of areas? We're about to find out. So when you click on the spell in D&D Beyond, do you have D&D Beyond up right now, Dana? Yep. All right, when you click on the spell, it'll give you a description. Um, it'll say, like, it's got a radius and all that kind of stuff. So I have, if that one doesn't work, I have another one that's that one. Um, I can go, it goes within 30 feet of me as well as where a creature is located. Um, if there's a place or object within 30 feet of you that has been magically consecrated or desecrated, it can penetrate most barriers, but it is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin piece of lead, or a solution of wood or dirt. So, and what's the duration? Um, duration, 10 minutes, I think. Okay. Sure I was trying to keep that in the moment. It's better. It's all good. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to sidle up to the wall where I'm standing, and I'm going to use uh, uh, warp, warp sight to try to see what's in this next chamber without going in. All right, what were you saying, Dana? Oh, it is up to 10 minutes. Okay, so if you want to cast that for 10 minutes, you'll you'll be able to detect anything within 30 feet of you. Okay. It's up to you. Yeah, casting it. All right, go ahead and click cast so that spell slot pops away. And guys, you said you're checking into this room over here. And yep. Corny needs the map again. Oh. Oh. 
So, Corny, it looks like you're just creating a litany of characters instead of actually yeah, I claiming just saw the that. I don't know. I, I know nothing. I think this happened with me not long ago. I can't remember what we did to fix it. I think we gave me back my character. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete these two characters, Corny. Yep. yep. I'm going to clear the owner for Lefirith proper. Now go to character selection and see if you can click on him now. Where is the other thing? Not... Oh, so that... where it says characters on the right? See, I don't have that because of this Mac. It is giving me not the things. So... <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to fire this back up. Now, when you log in, you may be able to get him now. I cleared the owner. We'll see if that happens. So, to Gaius's point, uh, that is room four. You see four statues of uh, what you can assume to be sea elves throughout the room um from that angle you probably don't see that yeah you see four statues <clears throat> of probably sea elves okay you want me to head in there guys i mean we're clear to enter if we need to i'm gonna take a step right here in the hallway and can I take a peek into the room before I step into it proper? Maybe I can see something mm -hmm. he can't yeah. with warp sight. Yeah, so on the north side, kind of uh, basically where his blind spot would have been, um, you see a mural on the north wall. Uh, I'm going to call back to... Donna and I'm going to go, Cleric, I need you with me because we're going to go check out this mural and uh, see if we detect anything in it. Because I can't do that. I don't know anything about all that stuff because that ain't my jam. I'm going right. to walk in. And I'm assuming the mural is right in front of me now. Yep, right there. Donna, do you have control over your character in Fantasy Girls? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Push the map one more time. Yes, I can. Were you able to pick up Lefirith? I think I did. Okay. Cool. I think I can. I think I can. Looks like you did. Looks like you did. So we are now in front of. Yay! Yay! We are now in front of this mural. All right. Donne, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh fuck! I fucked okay. you up. My bad. Uh, that was a Nine. that was a check, not Nine. a saving throw, so it might be h higher. Oh my you God. might be able to get a, a higher one than that. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and roll that. So on D and D Beyond, um, saving throws are in the little box off to the left at the top, underneath your ability scores. Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to. It's all good. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, it's it takes a while to remember that checks and saving throws are two different things because they use the same. Number, okay. but where's it at again? Oh, 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 I see, I see. Um, okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, this is higher because I have higher. So go ahead and oh, click that and roll it. It's fine. 26. What was it? 26. 26. Nice. Bitch. All right, yes, You're good. You don't even feel an effect. Um, <laughs> with some saving throw, who? Yeah, <laughs> so, um. On this mural, basically, you kind of look at it for a minute and piece together that this is a mural depicting the contribution of the Sea Elves to the Perian War, um, how they helped fight off some of the Canalian invaders. Uh, basically, it's Sea Elves fighting Dark Elves, which Don A may be interested in as a Dark Elf. <laughs> Do you detect anything, uh, 
about this, or is it just purely a mural? Purely a mural. A what? A, mur a marka? A, a mural. Mural. Uh, my name is say, Merle. This I was going to say, that, sh that, that, that Shelby <laughs> came out hard on that one. <laughs> What's that Merle over there? Merle. It's terrible to get a Merle. Uh, uh, I'm going to use warp site to check this lower, the room below that one. What do I see? Uh, let me check. There's a lot of carvings on the wall. I, I moved down, um, and I'm in that direction as well. Um, what uh, you said, carvings on the wall? Yeah, carvings all over the wall. Um, carvings on this wall. Can I do a history check or an arcana check to see if I knew know what those are? Well, so Gaius, are you walking in? Yeah. Okay. So Gaius walks in first. Gaius, I need you to make a wisdom oh, saving throw. Oh, shit. Piss. Lefirth, are you following? Saving no, I'm throw. stopping at the door to read the uh, things on the wall. Okay, what was your wisdom saving throw there, uh, Gaius? 11. Okay. Okay. All right. Hang on a second. Do you have your uh, phone nearby, Rob? No. Can you pull up Facebook? Facebook, Facebook. I don't know why I skip it. The, the, the song for Can you pull up the devil? Head. Can you summon the devil? Uh, I'm sending you what has happened to you. What? What does that mean, Brian? Something is happening. He's turning Russian <laughs> again. God damn it. Oh, sorry. I should be trying to talk like I'm from Skyrim. I mean, that's basically where my guy's from. I'll be back. That's Austrian. Yeah, you can still do that. That's fair. Um, is... Okay. So, do you see what I sent you, Rob? Ah, uh, I see. Does that make sense? Perfect. Okay. Sense. Gotcha. All right. So, uh, you guys see Gaius kind of like zone out for a minute and then come to, and then he starts looking at all of the statues, or not the statues, the uh, carvings. Um, yeah, what's up with the carvings? I want to know. They're brilliant. Like, they're really, really well done. Um <clears throat> But the themes represented, it's almost like a requiem. There are scenes of death, both violent and peaceful, and they're on every wall, and they're framed by, as much as a, a skeleton can grin, like skeleton, smiling skeletons uh, in ragged cloaks. Oh, that's a weird-ass move. Room, not move. Yeah. Do they look anything like our friend Cog? No, they're they're more like elvish skeletons. Gotcha. Yeah. As much as you can tell the difference in a bone structure for humanoids. Oh well, I don't want to split up the party, so I'm gonna be like, uh, there's a bunch of murals in here. It, it well, things. It's not important. All, all I know is that it's. It's neat if you want to go look. It's cool. But I, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through the north room. Okay. Well, 
now Vita is curious. Will Vita regret go. decision? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. All right, it's fine. Oh, Vita and Carl, you want to check out the artwork? Yeah. I need both of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Hell oh. yeah. All right. That's another nat 20, so technically nice. 24. <laughs> you feel nothing. Nothing? I'm gonna fail, I can feel it in my bones. Oh. Yeah. Alice! Alice! Hey! Alice. I exist! Suddenly, Yay. the potted plant of his miniature cattails gets really heavy in Vita's arms, and oh, boom, shit. Vita is holding a rhythm. Rhythm. Oh, this could this could be interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and move rhythm <gasps> over to where you guys are. Rhythm, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, wisdom. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's actually not too bad. Uh. <clears throat> Twenty-three. Okay, you're good. Great. Yeah. <laughs> So, so we feel nothing, no insight as to why Gaius got ooked out when he stepped into that room. Eh, probably yeah. just fine. tired. It's fine. I'm just Immediately cool. suspicious. Uh, Barley, what was yours? 16. Okay, you're good. Uh, I think everyone has succeeded a wisdom saving throw except for Lafirith at this point. Are you going to go check out the. Uh, the carvings, Lafayre, or are you going to let everyone else just... He had to step away for a sec. Yes. Oh, did he? All right, well then, yeah, you guys see beautiful uh, carvings uh, on the wall. Again, very grim content, but still very beautiful work. Uh, as you guys are looking at this, uh, your backpack again gets very heavy, and Rhythm awkwardly falls out of the backpack. Oh, fuck, shit, uh... What oh, the fuck happened? Vita wild magic surged and suddenly rhythm was planned. This is twist new. This is yeah, that's that's an interesting development. Um okay, cool, cool, cool. Also Lifereth is here. Lifereth is here. Oh sweet. Vita kind of lizards out of the way so Rhythm can wave across the hall. What up, dude? Lafirth is spaced out at the moment. Um, <laughs> also, because uh, Rhythm was a potted plant for the last session, uh, there, you guys, as you're walking, may want to fill her in on who your other uh, boat guest is. Guests are. Oh right. Yeah, I vaguely remember fighting to help someone and then I just kind of zoned and I oh, guess yeah. I was a plant. Yeah, so she yeah. wasn't here for any of the last two important things. Oh. Nope. Oh uh, my god. I, I've been so, a plant for a while. So You'll fill her in, I gotta go. Oh. Okay, uh, Rhythm, you look around and notice that there is at least one person missing from this group. Celie uh -huh. is no longer with you. Okay. Seely, uh, so, wait, I thought she was here for that. Nope, nope, nope. nope oh, what? shit. I, okay. I was here for the beginning of that session, and then I had to oh. dip out early. All right. Oh, um, yeah. So, Donna is our new cleric, and also, uh, Donna taught us that Silly was a fiend, and fiend as she was, she disappeared fiendishly into the nether and mm -hmm. that sucked because uh, we tried to get her and she just slipped through our fingers um and then we were on a boat and uh i know i, I missed some things um <laughs> we were on a boat cog's boat cog came back cog gave us a boat to use and we were on it and then we were trying to scry or see if there was people trying to scry us and we found oh yeah i skipped things um, <laughs> we, we, we sold some stuff so that we could buy a thing so that we could tell if somebody's scrying on us and, uh, on the boat, we found out that, uh, Alias was scrying on us and then he appeared with, uh, a dragonborn child that he just stole slash kidnapped 
Uh, but he was gonna get killed, so uh, I hope that answers all of your questions. <laughs> what is the child's name? You gotta tell her. Oh what yeah, the child's, child's name, name is Iral Beck and Iral. Oh, it's I. It's I A R A L. It's in real life, Beckon. I R like Beckon. I R L. Oh my god! I R L. just got that. I hate you. Oh, I hate you so much. So while while we're filling in rhythm, I would like to get out the lantern of revealing and just do a little quick sweep. Yay! Okay. Uh, nothing invisible, but you can see the the carvings on the wall a lot better. They're very pretty. Scry away, scry away, scry away. <laughs> scry away, <laughs> scry away, scry away. Okay. So, Lafirit's back for an indeter- indeterminate amount of time. We've got a new friend. Uh, Seely was a bitch. Yeah. And Alias stole a dragonborn child, but that child was about to get killed, so it was a good thing that he stole it? Yes, yes, yes. We have not actually talked to IRL. Uh, Vita (laughs) does not know if this was some... Vita's not sure how deep the uh, uh, brainwashing went. (laughs) Okay. Vita is concerned for mental well-being of, of dragonborn baby. Valid, valid, yeah. Okay. How, how, oh God. How baby was this baby? Like oh. Chi- child, toddler, uh, infant? He is. Good question. Child. He is. How old did he? Dang it. I asked. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Where is Four he? Four or five? Yeah, he's a babe. He's not very big. Just so um, cool, baby. Just a kitty. Where, where? Just like this kitty. Did I not? <laughs> did I not write it down? I thought I wrote it down. Just baby. like little Wanger. Hey, Wanger. Aren't you a little bitty baby? My dog turns three next Aww. month. Aww. Aww. She finally had a dog. Three. Aww, uh, so, <laughs> we'll, we'll say that IRL is roughly six years old. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, Red's okay. going to now uh, peek into this next room over here, uh, just kind of in the hallway. Roll a stealth check. Yeah, for me. bro, I can do yeah. that. Hell yeah. 22. Okay. So this will actually give you the opportunity for a surprise round because you see a couple of. Uh, I'm not sure how to say this word. I know how to read it, but not say it. Sahuagin. Sahagin. Okay. It's like it. this. S A H U A G I N. My oh. little brother was just talking to me about these things. Yeah. It's Interesting. True. You there you fight them in Final Fantasy three, yes. four and five. You do. Oh really? And one. So Wait, we see them where now? <laughs> in this Red in this room. I see that. Red sees them in this next room. I'm gonna looking at. I'm gonna like be following behind Vita and be like, hey, Vita, Vita, five seconds, and I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace. Oh, muchas gracias. I'm going to look you. back at everyone from it... where I'm at and uh, just do the uh, the universal... Uh... Oh. I'm going to cast... Seeing that, I'm going to cast Anticipate Peril. Yeah, that's <laughs> <terrible>. <laughs> No, uh, it gives me advantage. In, oh, okay. Uh, Anyone within 30 feet of me gets an extra 10 on their stealth rolls. I'm also going to sort of, uh, I guess maybe we'd have to roll for this to see if anyone understands what I'm saying, but I'm basically telling them all to, like, funnel to me. Like, you know, kind of just telling everyone to, like, line up along the wall. Cue up. I was going to split the party for a second, but I guess I won't. <laughs> We're going to imagine that Lefirith is over with us. Yeah. Uh, okay. And so... Uh, I'll, I'll just make it happen. I'm going to peek my head around and take a shot with Eigent. I'm not going to use a special ability, but All I'm right. going to peek my head around and... Well, actually, actually, hang on. Before hey, I do that... Yes. Uh... 
can I uh, ask Don A to come beside me and can you give me a vibe check? Are they within 30 feet of the vibe check? One of them at least is, and yes, they are evil. All right. So. Um, leveling up gives us a long rest, right? Yeah, we've had long rests. You would have had one anyway because you've been traveling. Uh, yeah. yeah. Can I cast a spirit guardian? Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is you're basically going to get a surprise round. Uh, we're going to okay. roll initiative, but let's just go ahead and take our break early real fast. I okay. need to use the restroom anyway, and it will get us through this whole thing. So what we'll do is go ahead and roll your initiative, uh, and then right at the beginning of break, I'll get the initiative from you. It'll give Lafir the chance to get back and all that stuff. So, so you want us yeah. to, to roll it and give it to you now or give it to you after? No, right, give, we'll give it to me after. Yeah. Okay. But in, in yeah. between, you can just go ahead and roll. That way you know you're not Everyone, gonna we'll be uh, back yeah. in just a minute. Hey, everybody. It's me, your DM for Amora RPG, Brian. We're taking a break right now. Some of us are probably going to use the bathroom, get a snack. Sarah's probably having a mental breakdown. I want to take this moment to make sure that we remind you to hit the follow button if you haven't already. If you'd like to continue seeing us play Dungeons and Dragons in my homebrew world. Monday nights at 7 p.m. we're playing Dungeons and Dragons in Almora. Um, we are, that's a homebrew world. It's 100% uh, created by me for this group of people. On Friday nights we get together and just talk about stuff. It's a disaster usually. It's worth watching. Um, it's one of those kind of train wreck situations. You really want to tune in for that. That starts at 8 p.m. on Friday nights. In upcoming Wednesdays, or maybe by the time you're seeing this video, it will have already started, uh, Robbie is going to be hosting his own sessions in Yalmora, which is um, a Guy Fieri-based homebrew world that he's been working on. Um, also probably a disaster. Totally worth watching. And then here and there, we'll play video games just as we have time. Take a moment to uh, hit subscribe, especially if you have Prime. You can do a Prime subscription. It doesn't cost you anything, and we get supported that way. We also have a link tree in our in our thing down here. We've got YouTube if you want to catch up on the old episodes. We have Instagram. We've got Facebook. We've got Twitter. We also have Buy Me a Coffee if you don't want to do a subscription on Twitch. Uh, I think it's $3. It just sends us a little bit of support. And what we're trying to use that for is to help grow the channel. Uh, Ali is someone who does most of our social media and a lot of our other behind-the-scenes work, and we're trying to uh, work together as a group to bring in enough money to get her a better computer because hers is... Um, it's doing pretty poorly. We are trying to um, help Sarah out with another computer because she's the one that she's had. She's had since college back in 2011, and she is our digital design person. She'd like to continue doing artwork for us and that kind of stuff, um, and we want to support her in doing that. It also goes to pay for subscriptions. Um, we use D&D Beyond. We use Fantasy Grounds. And eventually, we would like to get to the point to where it's paying us to continue doing this for you guys. Um, I spend way more time than I probably should uh, writing for this world, not just for the campaign, but I'm also working on side projects, uh, short stories, and, and things like that. We've got Robbie, who spends a ton of time setting up the tech for this, making sure that the stream is run clear and that you guys can hear everything. Um, everyone's kind of pulling in and using their own resources to do this, and your support helps us do that even better. So if you like what you're seeing, uh, you want to continue to support the stream, there are tons of ways to do it. There's probably a good few more minutes before we will be back and ready to continue whatever we're doing at this moment. It's probably stupid, but um, funny nonetheless. We will be back in a few minutes. You'll see a screen. Just sit here. Take a break. Go use the bathroom. Get a snack for yourself. I don't know. Check on your mom. See how she's doing. Your partner. You got cats? Anyway, we'll be back in a few minutes.
I had a couple large pizzas the other day, yesterday. And you that know sounds how much delicious. Those bitches cost? Those bitches are almost fifty dollars. That's okay. See, that's some bullshit. How many did you get? Two large. What the fuck? Oh my god. Where from? Uh, there's a place by um, Papa John's. Uh, the place called Terramia. Oh, that's oh. bullshit. You got some bullshit snooty pizza. Yeah. Was yeah, it good though? A fancy place. Was it good? Oh my god. <laughs> yes, it was good. What's it? What's it? Twenty twenty something dollars per pizza? Good? No, but it was damn good. Did you get was like eight million Obama? toppings on it? Is that why it was so expensive? It was just pepperoni. Fuck that oh shit. Fuck. Yeah, that's a bit much, good. my dude. Good hey, fuck. hang on. Now, I will. would you pay that amount of money if the owners said that they were paying living wages to all of their employees? Now, yeah, we yes. know that they're probably not, but if they yes. were, and that was the reason. Okay. Yeah, well, that's the thing. is that If they were upfront about it, they're like, hey, look, it's expensive because we're a small business. We're trying to make it work, and we want our people to like be able to... like." not starve to fucking death and be able to afford their rent. I'd be like, hey, this still seems absurd for pizza. I feel like you can get that number down, but if you can't, good. Fucking don't. Pay your people. All right. It's like, yeah. Uh, cool. Take you ready money. for initiatives? Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, hang on. Let me get to the combat tracker. <sighs> combat tracker. All right, so top of the combat tracker is Vita. What was your initiative? Muted. 14. Thank you. 14. Just baby talking my cat. I don't think anybody needed to hear that. <laughs> oh, you could put us on speaker. We could all baby talk your cat. Yay! Uh, <laughs> Lafirith, yours was 26? Indeed. Plus Red. 9. Jesus. Uh, Red? I got 15. Why aren't you typing? I swear to God. Is the keyboard just dead? What the fuck is happening? Possible. Did I turn off Numlock? Is that the issue? Uh, Barley. Um. Twelve. It's 22, but I had to use two luck points. Because <laughs> I kept getting one. Well, one of those was your halfling oh, bullshit. Oh, right, 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 okay. I'll, I'll use Come on. One. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but it's still bad. Did you ask me what mine was? That was a paint there. No, I didn't. Donne? Four. Okay. Oh. God dang. I know. Gaius. 16. Rhythm. 20. And her. 17. Okay. Um. I'm very confused as to why my keyboard is just not working on one side, but it is on the other side. Corny and Sarah, you're in IT. Why the fuck is my numpad not working, but this will? Numlock? I tried that. I tried that. Promise you, I'm not that stupid. Uh <laughs> I'm stupid, but be, not that bad. Have you tried on driver failure? I mean, unplug yeah. and plug it back into another yeah, uh, that, USB. Yeah. You, yeah, into a different USB. Yeah. Yes. Right, I had to do that with my headphones earlier. Okay, hang on. That happened to me at work today. That's never happened to me.
like losing its mind. Can yes. you guys hear me? Yep. Uh -huh. Yes. At least. Um. It's a song about petting a cat. There you go. That's where I sent them. Uh, from the perspective of a cat, I guess. I don't know. Bear with me, everybody. You're all good. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves or something. Uh, so, how's everybody doing? Want to talk about pizza again? <laughs> What's your favorite? I pizza? I like pizza. Oh, you suck. That, does that surprise anyone? Actually, I eat I eat pizza, I mean, but only with me. only with the 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 marinara, along with the tomato sauce, nothing else. So bread and yeah. marinara. Bread and marinara. Okay. That's what I call it. Bread what? Bread what? marinara. <laughs> Look, man. I, I do what I do, and that's what I do. Man. He likes yeah. it, he wants it. He's going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is his. I do it the easy way. Man, you got to put on some... You got to put on some... Pepperonis, you gotta get some olives, you gotta get some mushrooms, you gotta get Olives some don't belong no damn jalapenos. pizza, you take that back. <laughs> what? Woo, strong words. Olives said, on pizza is delicious. It makes it buttery. Let me ask y'all a question, though. It's not like it. Hang on. Did I hear my favorite adjective? But, hey, here's the real <laughs> question, though. Regular nuggets or spicy nuggets? Spicy. Where spicy. from? 100%. So, yeah, with my spicy. with my diet, I'm uh, using lots of spices uh, in lieu of like <laughs> butter and other stuff like that. And uh, I'm spicy now. I'm, I'm a spicy boy. Hell yeah! You're always a spicy boy. I didn't get a chance to do this while you were talking about pizza, but I like my pizza like I like my partners, which is every kind of pizza is a good pizza. <laughs> <laughs> There is no pizza that is so, bad pizza. It's good. That's how you like your partner. That means pizza. you like everyone to be your partner? I don't understand. I like all pizza. <laughs> I'm disturbed like by this. All people. I'm bisexual. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. All people and all people. Well, I mean, that's not are you sense. two pieces of a couch? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's not complicated. <laughs> complicated at all. Yes. Okay, can you guys hear me still? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, so you guys get a surprise round, but yes, you see uh, two small sahagins. 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 Fish, fishy boys, and then one larger one with more um, is, well, elaborate more equipment. And significantly larger. Yeah, more, more fishy boy. Um, so we're just go basically going to go through a round. This is a, a surprise round because you guys were sneak up, but we're going to follow the initiative order. Also, I'm going to say this. Uh, hint, hint. There may be other combat in the future. We're just going to keep this initiative order going as this happens. So, cool. um, so Lafir, if you were at the top of the initiative order, what would you like to do for your surprise round? Let's kick ass! And I'll run straight <laughs> <him>. <laughs> Uh Gonna hit him with the uh, quarter staff. With the old ones okay. and twos. Black him. Oh, that's gonna. Mi oh wait, maybe, maybe not. So many characters, I don't forget. Uh, uh, that is definitely a miss. That is going to be a ten. Yeah, that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, second attack. It is uh, it's, it's a fifteen. Misses. Ooh, uh, I'm going to Fury of Blows. I'm dizzy okay. now. Son of a bitch. 
And yeah, I missed everything. Okay. Uh, so Lafirith Leroy's in is way too excited, and this guy sees it coming and is able to kind of duck out of the way. Barley, you're up next, followed barley, by Rhythm. Barley, 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 oh barley, 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 barley. Okay. Oh, God. This is too much pressure. <laughs> I believe um, in you. Oh, shit. Christine even, Christine even <laughs> brought out the fan idea. for you, so. Aw. So sweet. Um, okay. I'm going to cry. And then, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I am going to. Scry. Uh, shit balls. Um, I wish. Uh, <laughs> I don't do cry, that. just scry. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to use. Oh, fuck. This isn't helpful at all. Oh, yes, it is, because it's not. The thing that I always think it is. Um, I'm gonna use Chill Touch, which is not what I think it is all the time. It is necromancy. <laughs> okay. On uh this spicy big boy, uh the Baron. Is it a ranged attack or a touch attack? It is a cantrip that is at it can go 120 feet. Um oh weird that they call it touch and it's not touch but, yeah right. chill touch well it's because you create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of a creature within range gotcha um, and it's a necromancy um, on a hit the target takes 1d8 necrotic damage but of course I'm going to have to roll first to see if I even hit because that's how it goes correct and Miss. I rolled a oh god math uh Huh. We got a calculator. 24 to hit. Definitely hits. Okay. Now I have to roll a... Oh, 2d8. Fuck. Where the fuck is my d8? God damn it. Also, I didn't check to see if this was actually doing... Uh, this keyboard was working yet. Is it working? Did you get it? Yes. It Yay! seems to be. Yeah. That's what happens. You just unplug it and plug it back in. That's ninety percent of all IT problems. Well, I did that before we got started. It was weird that I needed to do it immediately after. Where the hell is my other one? This doesn't matter. Just do it this. Anyway, this is a ooh, nice. Okay. That's an eleven points of. What is it? What you would call it? Necrotic. Thank you. Yeah. You Necrotic. said that was on Big Boy, right? Yes. Okay. Give him the old cold flu. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. Uh, can I? Oh, where the fuck am I gonna hide? Oh, I'll try to hide as a bonus action, but I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna hide. Behind this wall. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't be on top of Vita. <laughs> I know. Shit. Or you can. <laughs> well, Vita, it, Vita at least has to consent first. So. Yeah, Vita is very ace. <laughs> Extremely ace. Please remember I'll this. Be behind, kind of. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> I mean, Vita is big enough for him to very comfortably hide behind their robe. Like, he could. Yeah. Fully uh -huh. pick off, off <laughs> roll, of Vita. Roll a stealth check. Really? Can Vita give them a help action? <laughs> is, is Vita going to stay in the exact same spot throughout the round? No. Okay, then no. Uh, that is. You said stealth. Yeah. Fifteen. Okay. All right. Rhythm, you are up. Herschel's on deck. Okie doke. So I am. I'm going to be a responsible friend and I'm going to. Oh, it's a fucking action, though. Why is it an action? Uh. I'm going to go ahead. 
kind of be like, oh, oh, pardon me, excuse me, boop, uh, sorry, excuse me. And I'm going to touch Red on the shoulder and cast Guidance. And you have a D4 to add to any ability check. Okay. That's my turn. Oh, okay. Herschel, you are up with guys. Herschel's on gonna pop a beer and run straight at this Sahagin and try to do a pounce attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, DC, save, right? uh, your mom. Uh, hang on. Now, hang on. Do do do. But he also gets. It oh, fails. okay. It's fine. Uh, then he's gonna roll a seven, yes, and I know it's he's gonna him, get so. to first bite. Try to bite his ass. Oh, that's a nat 20. Okay. My dead eggs. Okay. Ah. Uh, that is 13 points of piercing damage. And then he's going to now claw him. Okay. Okay. That is a... What's my plus to hit? Because it's different than normal. Uh, that is a 22 to hit. Yes. There's my d4. It was still in the bag. Uh, that's For five silly. points of slashing damage. This fishy boy is not looking very good. And uh, that's gonna be her. That's gonna be uh, anything else. After he does that, fish, he's gonna use not. the rest of his yep. uh, turn to go into that to that side of him. He still has enough. Uh, and he's also knocked prone. Okay. All right. Gaius, you are up. And let me clarify that this is not... This has nothing to do with your failure. Yeah, I figured. Okay. I, I, I read the thing. I, I understood. Just I was... making sure. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to go in here. Say, up, oh, excuse me, excuse me, up, up, excuse me, up, up. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then I'm just gonna. Hey, like... I'm the only Midwesterner here. Oop. Oh, sorry. The me. Oop is mine. Oop. 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 Can can I pet the cat as I go by? I have... <laughs> only if you want to taste these fucking hands. Oh. Uh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Also, okay. isn't it? <laughs> sorry, you're not allowed to do that on stream, right? A... <laughs> <laughs> We're not big enough. Oh, you mean doing some? So. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what people say about me. I I just she won't let me pet her, and I keep asking. She don't let me. Okay, now I'm gonna go in here, and I'm going to, you know, pull out my not lightsaber and go and slice this guy. Okay. Why is that so bad after what was just previously said? (laughs) Shut up. Shut up. Don't do it, fishy boy. I have the high ground. Uh, 28 to hit. That hits. And that's the old 11 damage. He's dead. Yay! Can uh, Okay, since I still have another action left, can I move to another guy? You don't have another... You don't have another action. No, I, I do have another. You have multi-attack. No, I have another action to use. You have it on the thing. Oh, the multi-attack? Is that what that is? Uh-huh. That's for a second attack. Okay, right. got it. Got it's you. not another action. Action's a very specific thing. Um, it gives you another, another attack action. Nothing else. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what I was using. Okay. Right. Um, so... Yes. The answer is yes. It's a question I don't know the answer to exactly is whether or not multi attack can be split up. However, I've uh, done it before in this campaign. Yeah, in Adam, what way? Well, so up? basically, attack, move, then attack if it's multi attack. Oh, yeah. No, you, you still can do it that way. Okay. Well, either way, you are still within melee range of the big fishy boy. So. Oh, so I can just slash him? Yeah, he's large, so. Hey, guy, you're very large. And then I'm, I'm going to say that, and then I'm going to 
I'm gonna slice vertically downward. Okay. <clears throat> okay, where where did I okay, I went to go look at the thing. Alright, that's uh eighteen to hit. That hits. Sweet. That's thirteen damage. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else? Uh, I'm going to say something smells rotten in here. That's it. So I got it. All right. Red, you're All up. Right. By Vita. Red. Don't forget, you got I it. got it. I got it. All right. I am going to, uh, first of all, cast Hunter's Mark as a bonus action. And I'm going to cast it on yep. Big Fishy Boy. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I am going to try to shoot Big Fishy Boy. And I'm going to uh, kind of go for it. Up, 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 get it, get out of everyone's way there, out of the so, so no one has to up up past me because don't touch me. Um, that is a twenty six to hit. All yeah, that'll right. Hit. So I do this damage. That's pretty good. 15 plus my D6. Hell yeah. 19 points of piercing damage. Okay. Solid hit. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think there's... Yeah, that's my action and my bonus action, so no. That's it. Okay. Vita, you were up. Okay. So Vita does like a quick slither around people. By the way, Donna, you're up next. Okay. So this fishy boy directly down from tiny fishy boy has not received any kind of damage, correct? Correct. Okay. So something I have not used yet, and I want to get a little more literate in, is Kamos, the staff that I was given. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at these stats... Um, I'm seeing two stats, 1d6 plus 3, and then 1d8 plus 3. What is the difference between those two, and what do I have to do to... Yeah. One hand, two hand. Oh, cool. So, um... Okay, so if Vita were to just, like, sand person scream and go whack whack two-handed, mm -hmm. can Vita also extend a charge to add another d6 of damage? Is that in the description? I think so. That's that's how I'm. I think I can understand it. Read read to me. I, I understand that I wrote it, but also. Okay. Da, 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 da. Staff has twenty charges for the following properties. The staff regains one d blah blah blah. If you expend no, um, power strike. When you hit with a melee attack using the staff, you can expend one charge to deal an extra d6 force damage to the target. Oh, then yeah, absolutely, yeah. Boom. Okay. I just uh, don't remember what all I added because I wrote this like a million years ago. Six to eight months ago? This yeah. has been in the works for a while. Your mom's been in the works for a while. Okay. No, she's just been smoking for a while. That's true. That's so, what yeah, Vita's going to go whack whack two handed on this okay. guy and they're going to add a little extra oomph to it. So, I guess I roll a. Uh, roll like, to attack first. Yeah. Get a fun little boost to that, which hopefully will give me something. And are you using two hands? Yes. Okay. So I use a 1d8. Uh, I got uh, 13 plus 8 is uh, 21. Yes, that is 21. 21. Whack, whack. Uh, go ahead and roll 2d8 because you're in expending that charge. And since you're using two handed, I'll give you the. Oh. Basically, just double your damage die at that point. Dope. Oh, <laughs> that's a that's sixteen. Do you get any 16? any plus on that? Yeah. Oh wait wait uh hang on I think I do. Plus your strength uh, plus modifier. Plus three. Plus okay. yeah so that's th yeah that's three. Okay. Uh, this. Wait, that's. Nineteen. Nineteen. No, nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, this guy already looks on death's door 
This is a surprise round, so they lose their turn. Zane. Yes. You're muted. God. Oh, there you are. Okay. Sorry. It's all good. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to cast and split wounds. Okay. And I'm going to roll. Twenty. Yeah, that hits. Okay, and then I roll again, right? Roll the damage. Yep. Twenty-five. Nope. Twenty-five damage. Wait. Damn. Yeah. Was that a D twenty you rolled? I don't know. I just click on that on the die thing next to that spell. There's there's another one that will have like a one D something number plus or whatever. It says forty ten, and then it's got a Holy plus shit. five. Forty ten plus five. Whoa! Oh, you cast Ooh. it at a higher level then. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, nice. Holy hell! He's pretty close to being dead then. So good to have a cleric back in the party. Yeah. <laughs> Especially a killer cleric. <laughs> yeah. All right, so killer cleric. top of the round uh, is Lefirith. <laughs> so everyone's just done damage. I'm like, man, that's my job. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start punching again. Uh, Quarter staff this time. Okay. That's wrong thing first. Ooh, natural 20. Nice. Ooh. Now I'm going to roll my damage die, which I should have done in the first place. That's going to be 20 damage. He's dead. All right. Second attack. I'm going to turn and hit the guy behind me. Another natural 20. He's dead. <laughs> You guys are out of combat for now. Hey, um, DM mechanics question. Hunter's Mark. Okay. Uh, I have it concentration up to an hour. Um, if the target drops to zero hit points before the spell ends, you can use it a bonus action on a subsequent turn of yours to mark a new creature. Uh, if we get into more fighting within the hour, can I hold that? Or do I need to cast it all over again in a new battle? Okay. I will say you can hold it. That's fine. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. So you got you guys have killed uh, everything in the room. You notice at the where the the big fishy boy was um, that. There is something up on an altar that looks like a mace. Please don't spray me. Please don't spray me. Anymore. I'll go ahead and take a look at that. Please, okay. please. Somebody cast identify or take a good hard look at it. Dita made a mistake last time with weapon. Uh, there I'm going to go a, take a look at it. Yeah, there is a small statue of... Um, well, roll a history check, uh, Lefirith and uh, uh, Rhythm. History check. Can Religion I roll or one as, as well? History. Being from Perea? History. Twelve. Fourteen. Yeah, go ahead. And just go ahead and roll one. Right. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. So, um, twenty-one. This is um. Corseth, the sea elf uh, who was part of the Parian Five. She was a bard of eloquence. She was a good speaker, not necessarily musician, but her whole thing was writing and, and speaking. Um, she is the one who convinced the sea elves to join the fray eventually uh, in the Parian War, and this is her shrine. That mall is hers. 
I'm sorry, the mace is hers. The maul was what you guys got at Belgium's. Mauls in okay. two pieces. Yep. Um, and this is probably something, unless someone wants to argue over it, this was something that uh, uh, Rhythm tends to use. Yeah. So Rhythm, if you want to add to your inventory, uh, although you got you haven't had time to attune to it yet, so you can't use it, um, add to your inventory Guanxi, G-U-A-N-S-H-I. Actually, I would like to challenge Rhythm in combat for the use of that mace. No, I'm joking. I don't want to okay. do that. Lefirth says, is this joke? I like. What was the name? <laughs> Guanxi, G-U-A-N-S-H-I. And the Red's, the Red's gonna rings. say back to uh to to Lefirth and go, <laughs> Yes, you're learning. It's learning. It's evolving. Uh, uh, well You see oh, yeah, what might be will, a weird this will be a ton of fun when I don't turn into a tiger. Mm-hmm. This was I made this specifically because of uh, your play style. It's meant to challenge it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that'll be that'll be really fun when I'm not um not turning into an animal. Yeah. When I just want to hit shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell the group or not tell the group what it does. It's up to you. Does it? Does anyone want? Uh, I only have a a basic idea of what this does because I haven't attuned to it yet. Because I feel like I've got to like sit and meditate with it for a bit. This is out of game. We're yeah. Well, in game, that's what I'm saying. Oh, but like okay. out of game, it gives me a plus two. Ooh. And uh, da, 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 resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. When? Uh, da, 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 once per day, I can activate this item to give any allies, allies within 15 feet of myself resistance to those things. So, like, all of y'all are resistant to shit if I just decide to punch things. And by punch, I mean hit them. Yeah. So, so Allie, yeah. uh, as a player, really likes just running away from the rest of the group. And... Fucking yeah, so now I have to out. stay near y'all. <laughs> yeah. If you want to well use this played. Skill. Yeah. So anyway. I mean, usually when I just run into shit, I'm a tiger, though. Because... Eh, sometimes. Yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah Alright. Yeah. So yeah, you guys have picked up uh, Korsith's, Korsith's uh, mace. What would you like to do uh, next? Can I check the room that I am near? Uh, get a checking on the next place yeah um so the room to your right so to the west um it just looks like an old storeroom with some rotten stuff inside it um the one to the east there are some crumbled pillars uh, torn tapestries, that kind of stuff. So this is the one with torn tapestries, etc. This is the one that's Correct. the storeroom. Yes. The, well, that that first area uh, is a storeroom. Yes. Do you guys mind if I just go check the storeroom, make sure there's nothing back here, uh, make sure that you know there's nothing that could shit on us later. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go right here and Yay. I guess roll investigation or whatever. Yay. Or something. Just, just okay. Make, I'm just checking the room to make sure that it's clean. Okay, yeah. Uh, roll investigation. Now. Uh, 17. Yep. Yeah. A couple of pieces of rotten fruit on the floor and there's a closed door. Um, can I... Uh, put my ear up to the door and do a perception check to see if I hear anything behind the door. Yes. 
That is, I have advantage, but yeah, that's a dirty 20 with advantage. You don't hear anything. Hey, are you guys cool if I open this door? I don't give a shit. I say you know, it, hey, wait, wait, like two seconds. <laughs> and I'm gonna my put, body temperature remains the same. I'm going to put my hand on your shoulder and cast guidance. All right, I have guidance. I mean, doesn't that still last from the last time because I never used it? Oh, if you no. never used it. Um, guidance oh, okay. only lasts a minute. All right, then. Okay, well, uh, you I'm opening, again. I'm, it's a can. I'm trip, opening so. the door. But... Okay. There is a hiss as you open this door. Uh, Ooh. And you smell a sour odor, like something rotten or fermented. It must be onions. Inside, you see a small <laughs> room lined with dusty shelves, crates, and barrels. It looks like someone once used this place as a larder, but it's been a long time since anyone came to get anything from it. It smells horrible. Oh, God. Vita says no. Vita leaves. Goodbye. Girls. Uh, I'm going to cover my nose and just do a quick investigation inside to make sure I don't see anything hidden. Uh, and I can roll that with disadvantage okay. if you think the smell is bad enough or whatever, like that I can't focus or whatever. No, it, it's fine. It's just, it's stinky, uh, that's but a not 16. Like... Okay. Yeah. No. It's just this was this was sealed off. You hear the hiss basically, like it was supposed to be airtight. So well, to I'm gonna hold and preserve food. close the door That's back and leave. Okay. All right. Vita rushes in the rubble and is disappointed when nothing else happens, and it's Fair. just vomit. Uh. <laughs> you guys want the gold? I'm gonna use more Vita flight. Does give out gold every time Vita vomits. This is Vita has thoughts about this. <laughs> I mean, it's like a fifteen percent chance. Like it's it's better than most casinos, but I still wouldn't put my money on it. Also, it hurts a little more, Aww. but I yeah, I'd kind of imagine that it's like hard, solid metal. Yeah, no. No. What are you guys on about? You guys are all vomiting over here. And... <laughs> Do we need to have a bulimia inter intervention, Vita? Come on. <laughs> That's not a joke. I shouldn't joke about that. I apologize. Um, yeah, no, Vita is just being a dumbass. Well, Dark the... humor comes from a point of reality. Yeah, I, I, there's, a, I think, a firm difference between... Uh, an eating disorder where you cause yourself to vomit for the sake of losing weight as opposed to vomiting because one time it caused gold to come up and you just really don't understand it. Three times. Three, three, yeah, three times. <laughs> you spend a lot of time confused about how your body works. Those are two like different a 15, issues. Yeah, like I said, like 15% chance. Yeah. So. I'm going to use one site and look into this room. Hopefully I mean, honestly, Vita, like, you haven't gotten so drunk that you puked, so it's really a hundred percent. Well, now it's a seventy-five percent chance. More like that, yeah. That gold will show up. Jeez. So. All right, so Gaius takes <laughs> a cantrip to use warp sight to look in this room, and guess what? You see some fishy boys. Aww. Fishy boys. Vita wants to have fish. Uh, fries. I'm gonna he says look at. Hungry. Go ahead. However. Nope. Go ahead. Finish. Go ahead. I was going to say, since, since he's using Warp Sight, right, I will give cool, you a surprise. I was going to say, do I need to, to stealth it? But uh... Yeah, he's using Warp Sight, so he's able to kind of so like, gonna... look at you guys and give you the Do like the number of things. Uh, like how, and... how long has it been since, since the beginning of the last fight, like minute-wise? The last fight was just under two rounds. So that happened. Basically, you guys just ran in and killed everybody really fast. So all of us still have Pass Without a Trace. Oh, yeah, easily. Work. BT yeah. Well, uh, like let's this. go surprise these motherfuckers. This time I don't yell, let's kick ass. I just go, I'll kick ass. And then I'll <laughs> All right, so the fear is at the top of the initiative order. Go ahead. I'm going to go right here. Okay. And let's do some swinging of the staff. If you catch my drift. <laughs> On which which one? Three or two? Uh, I'm going to go with three. Okay. Three's getting the first shot. Oh. 
It's going to be a 25 to hit. Hits. And eight damage. Okay. All right. I'm going to swing at now two. Okay. That's a 20. I'm going to burn a key point for stunning strike on that one. And DC okay. 15. Uh, Con, right? De- con. Is it Con? Pretty sure it's Wait. Con. Uh, I'm the GM. I know damn, everything. <laughs> it's not that. It's because of. Uh, I'm fucking with you. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Fuck with me back. Let's have sex. <laughs> That's the <laughs> most flattering <laughs> proposal I think I've ever. Oh heard. no, it's strength. You know? it's mine. Mine, it's strength. It's very straightforward. <laughs> Yours is strength. Yeah, if it fills a strength saving throw, DC 15. Uh, it can't well, take, uh, or, it's, well, can't it take reactions. You were wrong. We have to have sex now. <laughs> what? Uh, well, it I'll allow 16, it. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I support this. I'll let you two sort out who's the top and who's the bottom oh, between yourselves. We sorted that out oh years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we sorted that out years ago. Okay. So... So two is stunned if it fails a DC 15 strength. No, no, it, it succeeded. It rolled a 16. Just barely succeeded. Okay, in that case, then I will... What's uh, the damage on it, though? Oh, well, the damage is... Because you did hit it. I just, that is correct. Uh, that is going to be 10 damage. Okay. And I'm going to go back to three on my last... It's 23 mm-hmm. to hit, and damage is another 10. Okay. All right. Barley, you're up, followed by Ruben. Okay. So I am going to... Oh, God, I never moved. Barley heard the word fermented and was checking everything for alcohol before it happened. <laughs> Gotta be sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you missed our actual I'm fermenting a ton of shit um, conversation, so. Why would you ferment shit? I'm, I'm fermenting vegetables. Because oh, it's nice. sterile and she likes to taste. <laughs> That's piss. <laughs> That's piss. That is Oh, Rick Torn. <laughs> okay. Um, I am we going all to saw, ignore saw everything. We all saw I shouldn't all. be surprised by any of you <laughs> at this point. Um, I'm going to use Chill Touch on uh, the... Let's see who would be closest. I guess there's a wall between us, but... I'm, um, I'm going to say, yeah, you haven't actually gone to see where they're at, so the only one you might be able to see is, is Fishy Boy 2. Yeah, I was thinking... So, like, it's just between, like, people's legs. I think that's <laughs> going to be looking. my stage name, <laughs> yeah. Fishy Boy 2. Good. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I'm going to aim Chill Touch at 2. Okay. I'm scared because I keep doing terrible on rolls here lately with this one, but... Uh... Oh, God. Yeah, that doesn't hit. It's... <laughs> It's really sad. What's the roll? Twelve. That just hits. That's it. Shit. Huh? Okay. Um. I should have this out, but I know. This is fishy boy. This is fishy boy. <laughs> Eleven necrotic damage on two. You know what? Just because it doesn't matter, he's dead. Yay! He had one hit point left, so. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Anything else? I use my bonus action to jump up and down. I'm just kidding. Uh, I use my bonus action to hide. Um. Oh fuck. I guess. We'll hide 
behind Vita again. <laughs> okay, your cover's going to move in a minute, but uh, go ahead and roll stealth. Oh, okay. <sighs> you have a high stealth, so that's good. I have what did you roll? 18, okay. Nine plus nine. Sure. All right, rhythm. Yee. So I am going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and go just into the doorway. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and, oh, dear God, do I remember how to do this shit. I'm going to cast Fog Cloud. Hmm. Interesting. And, oh, God, I think that's about the radius of it. You it's, know, there's a thing you can do, right? I know, but I. It didn't automatically give me the drawing of a shape, so. Oh. Um, you can. It's not. You have to do it's it with under a pointer. pointers. Yeah. I remembered. That is a fog cloud. Okay. So um, vision is obscured now here. Yep. So it's just outside of Lefirith's view. So Lefirith okay. can see. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm going to finish by running over there. Okay. And that's it. This fishy boy doesn't get a turn yet because it's a surprise Herschel around Herschel. Guys, you're up next. Is going to. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. He's going to come over here and attack this fishy boy with a bite. Uh, just a regular bite. He doesn't have 20 feet of direct movement to uh, pounce. He has to do 20 feet in a straight line. Okay. He doesn't have that, so... Uh, that's a 24 to hit, though. That's seven it's points it's... of piercing damage. That's gonna be his okay. turn. Alright, guys, and then red. Alright. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna cut, uh, number three, fishy boy. Okay. Uh, get there, okay. 17? Yeah. That'll hit. It's 8 damage. 8 damage. Uh, he's dead. And I'm going to use my second attack to hit the other guy. Okay. 28. 28 hits. And that's 9 damage. You know what? All right. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to say, who wants sashimi? Sashimis. Sushis and sashimis. Sushis and sashimis. Yeah. <laughs> Walleye. Red, Red is... I think some have some He's going to run that. up in here, and he's going to go... Wayne, your sister's fucking hot. There, I said it. And he's going to run. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, he's going to take a shot at number three. Or number one, sorry. All right, roll disadvantage because okay. there's fog in the room now. Uh, with disadvantage. Uh, that's still a 13 with disadvantage. Still hits. Uh... 
By the way, Donnie, I'm moving you up into the room That's with everybody That's nine else. points of piercing damage. Nine points is enough to kill him. He did. Then. So Red, Red takes a pretty good guess and uh, is able to take this guy out. Uh, that is it. You're out of combat for now. Woo! Oh, Vita did not get to Red's eat gonna fish look, fry. Oh, okay, yeah, Red was going to look at Red and go, Hey, can you, uh, can you clear this up? Oh, yeah, I dissipate it. Because uh, okay. it's a concentration. Enter the room and I kind of... I'm going to look at everybody well. and say, Should we go right or left? Uh, Boulder Parchment Cheers. Goes. What'd you say? Boulder Parchment in... Cheers. Rock, paper, scissors. Well, well who's, yeah. who's playing what, though? I was gonna... Uh, one of us is going to be right, one of us I'm is going to be I'm going to be on the left. Okay, so I'll be right. Ready? Uh, are we, are we a one, two, three, yes. shoot? Yes, number, kind of number, number, shoot. Okay. Number. Ready. Number. One, number. Two. Shoot. Three. Shoot. This you gotta do it again. Number. 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 Okay. Shoot. On the third one, I, I grab uh, rhythm sand. I win. Yeah. Roll. Roll yeah. a contested contested dex check. <laughs> rhythm and Lapeer. I was about to say, you two should close your eyes, do it, and then open when you both are ready. But that works, too. Eleven. It was a dex? Mm -hmm. Check. Okay. uh, Math hard. Twelve. Twelve. Just barely. I win. I rolled a nine, and I've got a plus three. So... Mm -hmm. I just look at all of you and shake my head. Okay, but <laughs> so we're gonna red go this one. way. Yeah. All right. Let me see where you're actually headed. What I see in here. Actually, I'm, um, I'm right. Yeah, I'm still in the, the. That's what I was meaning to do was. Stay in the doorway. <clears throat> the scent of earthy decay assaults your nose upon peering through the open door to this room. Smashed bookcases and their sundered contents litter the floor. Paper rots in mold-spotted heaps, and shattered wood grows white fungus. Um, I say everybody. I say to everybody, there's a fungus among us. Uh, can I roll like a perception to see if uh, uh, this smell does. is uh, bad for us? Nature? Nature. Sure, I can do that, too. Nurture. Mm-hmm. Nature or nurture? I actually have higher nature, so that works out. Yes. That's a nat 20 for a 25. Yeah, it's fine. It's just, it's just moisture. Right. I'm going to move in, thing. then. Stop doing that, you bitch. I'm going to take a couple. I've got a bag of ball bearings. I'm going to take a ball bearing or two and just kind of like toss them at the wall and see if these are like the mushrooms that like attack shit okay roll a dexterity check or roll an, a dex- roll an attack with dexterity yeah, 17 alright bounces off the top of one of the mushrooms nothing happens can I check okay, this cool. next room here this, fi- this room in the back you what can. you want? Perception, investigation, dick, dick sucking, dick rubbing. <laughs> well, ne- nothing. You walk in. There is a small bear chamber. There's a bear that holds nothing but a large. <laughs> yes. A uh, small bear chamber holds nothing but a large iron-bound chest buried under some rubble. Uh oh. Which is big yeah. enough for a man to fit in. And has I'm a going to iron I'm going to whistle it's back man, and go, "Hey, Barley, 
I got a lock for you. Yes, sir. <laughs> you want to come? You want to come do some lock shit? Shit. Shit. Before yeah, Barley you... can get there, I spy, uh, I uh, spike Barley there first. What? And attempt and attempt to open the lock. You son of a bitch. Do you have thieves <laughs> tools? I do actually. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and roll a. Uh, go ahead and roll like a proficiency. There's oh, a B. Uh, what is uh, what is that? A is that a dex check? Yeah, dex, it, it's, it's, a, a... it's a dex check, and then you add. Uh, are you proficient in thieves tools? I am. Okay, so you <laughs> Damn it! I'm sorry. What do I roll? The dex check plus. Uh... Yeah, dex, dex check plus proficiency modifier. You roll stabbing barley in the back. That's what you roll. Dex check plus. Oh, I'm sorry. Dex check. All right. Plus proficiency modifier. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be uh, 16. You feel like you're doing really, really well. Nothing happens, and you turn around, and barley's just kind of staring through you. All right, then I punch the lock. <laughs> okay, roll an attack. I hope this works. Uh, that's be going hilarious. to be an eighteen. Oh no! You... Wait, wait, wait! I did, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Um, that's a twenty-five. God Defi damn it. You definitely hit it. Roll damage. That's five damage. Okay, you take five points of bludgeoning damage on your fist. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Purely to spite you. 100% to spite you. <laughs> During the time Lefeuze has been gone, he has learned some human emotions. <laughs> one of which he really loves to spite. <laughs> I love this character arc. Like, he was a very pure individual up until interacting with us, and suddenly he learned about spite. <laughs> Barley, would you like to take a stab at this? <laughs> I'd like to take a stab at something, but I'm not going to. Uh, okay. I'm going to ignore this blue motherfucker next to me, and I'm going to laugh at his uh, hand being hurt, and then I'm going to try to pick this lock. Um, I also have these tools, duh, and I have a uh, fucking... Proficiency. Yeah, I'm also level 5 rogue, eat that. Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> Old the work. gods <laughs> heard me. <laughs> the gods heard me. Um, so that's a one that I just rolled. <laughs> you're no, a you're a roll again. Oh yeah, that's right. Hold on one second. Let me uh, let me use this one okay. point of luck. Uh, you don't have to use the point of luck. You're a halfling. Point of luck. No, but I already... you just do oh, it. You are right. a halfling. You reroll ones. I thought I did that already. No, you don't day. have to use luck. You just reroll ones. Perks of being a halfling. Yeah. They never. This is what we're here to remind you of. <laughs> okay, so uh, don't waste your luck. It's slightly better, but it's still shit. So <laughs> I'm gonna use a point of luck now. Well, how how <laughs> shit is it? It was a three. <laughs> okay, that is shit. A total <laughs> love though. I'm gonna uh, use a, a different dice for this. <laughs> three plus anything is probably not useful. No. Right, I'm trying to figure out what the total modifier is so I know what she has to roll. Oh. Uh. What am I looking for? Your proficiency is what? Plus four? Oh, it should be shit. plus three, right? Oh, it is plus three, yeah. It's plus three, and then yeah. your dex is plus... Uh, three. Okay, so you're adding six to anything you roll. Mm. Okay. 19. Okay, just make it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I face ball. <laughs> For how Inside. long? Inside. <laughs> by, by the way, Rob, this is something at some point uh, we need to work on, but for now, we're just going to let you keep 
track of this. Um, inside there is 1,100 copper pieces. 7,000 silver pieces. 2,300 gold pieces. Ah. Uh. 150 platinum pieces. Uh -huh. <sighs> An embroidered silk handkerchief. Uh -huh. Worth about 25 gold pieces. Give that to my grandma. A small gold bracelet worth about 25 gold pieces. A silver ewer worth about 25 gold pieces. I don't know what the fuck a ewer is, but... It's a pouring vessel. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a pearl of power. Oh, pearl God, power. yes. Pearl of power? What? But I know Steven Universe was here. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Block, 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 block. <laughs> we are the crystal fact, gems. In fact, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god. Are we gonna get copyright infringement? <laughs> I take four damage. Okay. <laughs> what did Pearl Power do? What did that do? What that is? Um, does anybody want to go for that or are you just going to like hold on to it for now I don't think it would do me any good so I'm not going to go for it uh, what does that do don't cheat don't yeah I don't think I'd really I'm, I'm already attuned to three things as soon as I attune to this mace what'd it do though a pearl I... of power is a magical item that grants spellcasters the ability to regain one of their third level spell slots once per dawn. I'll take it. Okay. No, I'll take it. I don't even have <laughs> third level spells yet. You can oh, also do it for lower. I was thinking this is a, a Vita thing. Vita, Vita's salivating a little at the thought of this pearl. Okay. Okay. Red's, okay. Red, Red's <laughs> gonna look up. Red's gonna look over his shoulder and go. Um, I don't like that look, so... <laughs> in my home world, this look is uh, something we find in wild animals. It usually means they're about to feast. Vita, do you, do you need sustenance? Well, Vita is always hungry because Vita is gro growing lizard, but Vita wants pearl. Vita wants pearl. Can Vita have pearl? Give her the pearl. I mean, Vita, the Vita, pearl. Vita likes shinies. Vita's Vita. learning this this habit from rhythm. The shinies are lovely, so if no one else wants the pearl, Vita will hold on to pearl. Yeah, I'm slightly disappointed we haven't had any green shinies in a while. I would just sell it, so you might as well give it to Vita. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Wait, wait, go wait, ahead and wait. take the pearl, Vita. What, wait, wait, could you use it, C Gaius? Because, like, I do have combos. I have, like, an Ion Stone. I have a couple of good magic items. If you would like that. I don't no, care. no, no. You sure? It's fine. It's fine. Gaius is, even though it's he's in the Sorcerer class, his subclass is more of a Martial Sorcerer. Okay. So he has a pretty good mix of spell slot versus... Uh, damage as opposed to Vita, which is wild magic, pretty much a straight spell slot. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Too versatile for that. So, yes. Pearl of Power? Correct. Do I need to attune to it? I don't know. You'll have to check. I think okay. yes, but I'm I not... I think it is a tuned item. Yeah. In a tuned item, I should right. say. Okay, requires attunement by a spellcaster. Okay. So, you just go down to the bottom. Okay, yeah. Is this a cursed item? I got to attune to it. Mm. Mm. Vita is going to hang on to this until we are out of dungeon, and then Vita will attune on boats. Well, you attune like... during a short rest anyway, so you wouldn't be able to use it yet. 
Perfect. So. All right, I'm adding it to my inventory. Okay. And yeah. All right. Next move. Uh, I'm gonna to turn around. Uh, turn oh, around. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around. Right, we're going right. and we don't know where the hell we're going around. I want to check. Uh, <laughs> Red and guys have left us, and we have to turn and go and catch up with them. I want to check uh, this room I want, before I walk in. I want to see if there's. Do I see anything in here? Do I? The path here veers south into what ha appears to be a much larger cavern. You can either go down the worn path or follow the stream. When I eat bad food, I have to fart. <laughs> uh, do you guys want to follow the path, or do you guys want to just get in the water? When Red says water, I go, I can actually be of great assistance with this. Ooh. Get in the water. When, meanwhile, while Red says water, I'm going to go ahead and wild shape into a like Chinese water dragon lizard <laughs> and I'm okay. going to crawl on top of Vita. Okay. Vita was actually about to ask, does Rita want to piggyback? Oh, okay, great, great. Good, 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 good. So I assume we're, <laughs> we're I assume we're following the river then it seems. It's the Lizard rhythm just nods. It seems to be the way we're going. So, uh, where the fuck did my character go? Yeah, where... Is the, is where did back? your character go? Oh your character gosh. is going to the next map. No! Uh, Vita does a splishy splash before they <laughs> before they vanish from this map. No! Splash, splash. <laughs> leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Not touchies! Uh... <laughs> Alright, right, is everybody gone off of this map? Yes. yes. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna Not kick this swing. I'm gonna kick this map to you real fast. I'll be right back. Somebody's gotta go pee pee poo poo. You. Somebody's gotta go pee pee poo poo. <laughs> I'm pretty fast, so that might be me, me, you, you. <laughs> Man, y'all ever just like exist? Wow, this is. You I'm know, existence is a bit man. of a hellscape at times, so that's mm -hmm. that's an understandable All feeling. All the time, uh -huh. all of the time. <sighs> everything, and everything, all I mean. Time. I've just I've been in a bit of a manic period lately. Then you know what you, which can be seen you know you sh in the like fifteen jars of fermenting. Hey vegetables. rhythm, <laughs> rhythm. You know what you should do with that manic energy. You should do the rest of the that's of the YouTube what? videos. The rest of the YouTube. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm what doing once we fuck? get off stream. What? Was that wrong? Yeah. <laughs> God damn, dude. What Sounds like you had a nice clearing He's got that, out uh, of man. Twenty five dollars. Rob's pizza. got that. Rob's. Yeah, that sounds yeah. like that's yeah, been that's terrible. Rob's got that. That is what made. Rob's that. got that cripple gas. What? <laughs> yeah, it thing. is. A bone crippled ass. She sends me. If I have to pass. <laughs> what is Rob's got a lot of gas. <laughs> All right, so water at the begin at the middle of this lake begins to bubble as a giant creature. Oh man, not your mom! Comes up yeah. from the center. Oh, it's See? this is what it looks like. Oh my God! Why you gotta do us like that, here. man? Come on! Everybody, roll for initiative. Are we not keep? Oh look, there's Vita. Okay. Guy. Actually, you know what? No, we'll we'll, we'll keep the say, initiative yeah. we had already. Never mind. No. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> um, let me close this extra map now. I'm going to need it. Baby! Uh, Alright. I'm going to do it. Okay. 
Well, so top of the round is Lefirith. Ooh. Um. That music is playing in the background. This, so it, this is in the water, right? <laughs> yes. You guys are in like ankle deep water, but this thing seems like it's in much deeper water. Okay. I'm actually going to run and dive into the water. Mm. Okay. Mm. That's right. Your oh, character is a water fearing people. Is that correct? That is correct. Right. Go ahead and nope. move. And um, I could get to him. Uh, so where does it like start getting deep? Uh, about where you dove in, basically where the water comes out of the stream, it kind of drops into a uh, somewhere between twenty to forty foot okay. depth. I uh, I alert the party to that, and then I just go swimming. Okay. Um. So I believe being in the water does not affect me in terms of I can breathe uh, underwater. Okay. So, um. I'm gonna swim up to it. It's a and... banging ass closer of Moscow song. Go ahead and give it a uh, good old punch. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I guess I'll swing the uh, quarter staff. That would be the the move. All right. It's gonna be a 25 to hit. Uh, that hits. I'm going to make that a, st a stunning strike. That'll be number three for the day. DC 15 strength save. Just saves. All right. Roll, Damage roll anyway time. is 10. Okay. All right. I'm going to hit it again. Ooh. Uh, it's going to be... A, it was at 19 plus 7 is 25. Yeah, no, that hits. 26. Anyway, it's 26. Still, yeah. Uh, and that is another 12 damage. Okay. Then I'll burn another key point. That makes Let it burn. 4. Let it burn. And Fury of Blows. First one is. Eight that misses, and the second one net. Oh no! Nine <laughs> misses. On my screen, it looked like a net twenty. Mm. Mm. All right, I'm done. Okay. Barley, you're up. Followed by rhythm. Uh, I am going oh god i don't like water i'm small um i am going to uh, i don't like small i'm water uh, <laughs> uh i'm gonna use my short bow of warning which is like hey fucker warning <laughs> can you yeah can you see this giant shit in front of you I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the warning, bro. Um, I'm going to try to use my short bow of warning to hit. Let's see, hold on, actually. Hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, it's still within range. That's amazing. That's really amazing. Okay. Um, I'm going to shoot over all these people. Actually, no, I'm just going to move over here. Wait, can I move over here? Is it too narrow? Can I move? You can move. You can move through okay. friendlies. Oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, I'm in front of everyone. I am terrified because if I go any deeper, I will drown. Um, so I'm going to use my short bow of warning um, to hit. What the fuck are you? An abolith? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. That motherfucker is engaged. That is true. Um, to be married. To, to <laughs> me. <laughs> I They're 17. very in love. Uh, <laughs> 17 just fits. Jesus Christ. Okay. Roll for love. Uh, now I am going to use 1d6. Oh, okay. <laughs> so 
seven points of piercing damage. I, I feel yeah. like you're not listening to your teammates. What? Oh, because they're engaged. Which means you I... need sneak attack damage. Um... We're gonna get married. Uh, oh, three Go on to the chapel and we're... Get Here's the thing, guys. Yeah. What the the real sealer is? Hand jobs are way different when you got tentacles. <laughs> they don't really count as hand jobs though, because you don't. Have Sorry, hands. it's a tenty job. Sorry. Yeah. Is twenty twenty no. There we go. New terms all the time on this, <laughs> on this stream. <laughs> new right. concepts, new thoughts, new trains of philosophy i don't know all right rhythm yeah followed by herschel um so i am i am a lizard and i'm going to do nothing crawl over everyone's shoulders and just be like Vroop. i'm gonna go under herschel's legs and over it and um and oh, oh, that's oh, oh, I'm gonna go, ah, fucking thing! I can go here and I'm gonna like crawl on the ledge. Okay. And, okay. Like stand on the ledge here and just like wait. Okay. Herschel, then And guys. I'm gonna, I am gonna hold a bite attack if he comes into range. Okay. Alright, Herschel, then guys. Alright, Herschel. Um. There he is. Um, what Herschel's going to do is he is going to come out and hop onto this stone here, onto this rock outcropping here. And he's probably just going to hang out there because he can't make it to that. But uh, mechanic-wise, uh, this is a cat. They don't swim very well. Uh, sure. If I have enough wow. movement, can he do like a... This would be for the next turn. Like he's on the rock that's in front of him to the right. And like jump up, hit him, and jump back. Like if I have enough movement to bop, bop. Because I'm trying to think mechanically. Like otherwise he really useless because he's just gonna like kitty paddle in the water and not be able to do anything because it's too deep um we'll we'll do an athletics check when okay. the time comes we'll see or an acrobatics cool. check he's gonna stay like there then for now so. and uh we'll do that when the time comes all right Guys, this is your yep. time. Yep, I get it. I got it. Uh, well, feel weird. Feel real weird. Uh, and I'm going to attack uh, Red. Yeah, it makes sense. It's 25. Yeah, what do you think, motherfucker? <laughs> That's uh eleven damage. All right. And I guess I have a second attack. Uh huh. Thirty-one. Holy shit! Is that net twenty? The oh, fuck. Um, that point, no, it was 19. 19. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that's 13 damage. Hell, uh, I'm not looking good, guys. Yeah. The fuck? The fuck? Game over for us. Alright. Red, uh, you're up. I guess I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to action disengage, correct? 
If you want to, yeah. To get away from this fuckhead. Uh, <laughs> so action, disengage. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And uh, bonus action uh, since I figure... Has it been an hour since we've... Okay, no. then I'm going to use my bonus action. Instead of having to cast it again, I'm just going to uh, the Hunter's Mark that I already have. Move it over. Move it to the Avaleth. And I guess that's my turn. Okay. Vita, you are up. Donna, oh. you will be after the Avaleth. All right. So Vita is a little ways away from everything. So that is 5, 10, 15. That's a bad idea. 20, 25. Yeah, so oh. Ga- Gaius gets an opportunity attack against you. Oh. So he is currently enslaved by the Abolith. He failed a wisdom save earlier. Can I? Counterspell doesn't work that way, does it? It'd be a dispel magic, wouldn't it? Uh, I don't know if Dispel Magic gets rid of this. Well, I mean, thing. That's a good and then you could, I guess you would already know that he is because you saw him attack me and yeah, fucking you would be aware end of my life. Okay, so how does Counterspell work? You attempt to interrupt a creature. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a Counterspell. No, you're right. I, I don't have Dispel Magic, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Well, maybe a cleric does. Maybe there's a cleric. Yeah, we'll we'll figure that out. All right. So, but yeah, do you want to move in and out of guys's? Uh, hmm. Let range? me see. Oh, um. I sent you well, something, Brian. That might help. Uh. So what if I cast Polymorph on Gaius? No. <laughs> Do, it. Do it. Make him a snail. Do it. Do Make it. him a snail. Yeah, all right. So Vita saw um, good old Red get kind of ragdolled by Sir Gaius here. So, yeah, Vita's going to cast Polymorph on him and turn him into a tree snail. Okay, is that a wisdom save? Let me see. Uh, uh, yes, that is a wisdom save. Wisdom 14. All right, guys. Guys, it's all wisdom. <laughs> oh, no. Eight. 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 Oh, shit, he failed. Right. Gaius is oh, a, shit. I'm sorry, you said sea snail? Gaius is a non-venomous tree snail. Tree snail, okay. Mm-hmm. And so, like, when, as as he kind of morphs into maybe like a ping pong sized snail, Vita pulls a little jar out of their bag, pops Gaius in there, pops a cork on him, stuffs him back in the bag. Okay. Gaius, you were out of play until yeah. something happens. Woo! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Last thing Vita does before, uh, like, they end their turn is they don't stuff the jar back into their bag. They hold the jar up for Donne and says, uh, pardon, can, can we do something about a uh, compromised friend here? <laughs> friend is not normally like this in battle. Fair enough. All right. It is now the Aboleth's turn. Oh. The Aboleth is not going to leave melee range of the Fereth, but it is going to get between the two of you guys. Ah. Uh, Rhythm is holding a bite attack, so if you want to go ahead and make that. Yes. Oh, I wasn't sure I did a lot of use out of Polymorph. I'm really glad I have. Uh, it's only a 14 to hit. Misses. Okay. Mm. Mm. Never mind. Okay. So, it is going to use a tentacle on Lefira first. That is uh, 26 to hit. Which I'm assuming is enough. Is Lefira still here? 
Oh, there it is. All right, so. Yes. Ooh, it's not nice. Uh, that is uh ten points of bludgeoning damage. Yep. yep. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh. Oh no. Uh, that is a three on the con save. Ooh, I can't bend like that. Okay. All right. Uh, next attack is to rhythm. That is a 19 to hit. That hits. 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Con save and throw for me. Con save? That is a seven. Mm. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. They're both under the spell now, aren't they? No. Um, that. Is, oh wait, no. One more attack. Uh, we'll say to Lefirith. That is a twenty-eight to hit. It does hit. 13 points of bludgeoning damage. And that is its turn. Donne, you are up. I'm not hearing okay. you. Oh, there you are. I'm going to go over here to my friend. I'm going to cast... I was going to say Cure Wounds. Okay. Yay! What I get? How much? Uh, yeah. That is a thirteen. Damn. Okay. Thank you. It's pretty good. Pretty good roll. No motherfucker. All right. Thank you, Donny. Yeah, thank you. Top of the round is Lafirth. Am I good? Ooh. Hang on. No. Am I good? No. No, You're you are jar. a jar. <laughs> You are All still right. bad. You are a snail. You are a naughty snail. Naughty, naughty snail. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take my action and use wholeness of body and heal myself 21 points. Damn. Ooh. Then does, that my, have, does that have any other effects? Uh, wholeness of body. Um, oh, uh... No, it's just uh, just heals. hit points. Okay. Oh, uh, like the the thing that that's like way later. The thing you're thinking about, I was just thinking about too. Oh, okay. All right. Um, let's see, I'm gonna use my bonus action to do fury of blows, burning my. Let me make sure I use my key points right. Two, three, four. Bring my fifth one. It's actually Kai points. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Though. I don't. I don't fucking know. <laughs> All right. That's a twenty. Thirty twenty. That hits. All right. That is okay. for six points of damage, and uh, I'm gonna burn a sixth key point. For stunning, uh, to stun him. Okay. DC 15. Passes. Oh. Fails. Hell yeah. Wow. He's stunned for the round. Wow. Stunning All like right. my daddy. And my last attack. Thank you, Fury of Blues. And that's going to be 11, so. Yeah, that does not hit. Okay. Uh, does he not get? Would they not be flanking this guy? 
Oh, it is flanking. I do have advantage. Thank you very much. It's not perfect flanking. So rhythm would need to be up one more for it to actually be flanking. Well, I was instance. just standing hey, on Lefira, the edge, you fucking Lafira, move your ass. <laughs> there, there. Wow. No. All right, I'm gonna take. I'm no, gonna take a you're... step and then put myself in flanking position. Okay, that's fit. Yeah, you can do that. All right. There you go. As I swim underwater. Really? Um, all right, and my last attack. Come on. Wrong one. That didn't matter. 25. Yeah, that'll hit. And damage is... Make sure seven. you didn't crit anything. Oh, well, that was, well I, failed the, I failed the first attack, so I just used the advantage on the second one. Okay. I am done. All right. Uh, Barley and Rhythm is next. Noise. Okay, so, uh, I am horrified, because I just, uh, I, I saw, uh, stuff happen in front of me, and I felt things behind me happening that I couldn't see that sounded really bad. Uh, <laughs> so now I am going to ignore everything and try to shoot again. Everybody hydrate. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. I don't have water uh, by me. I'm I was already gone both. for the stream for so long. I don't want to go and get water now. Drinking for both of us. <laughs> yeah, you're up next too, so. Um, See, okay. exactly. So I'm going to shooty shoot with my bow. Um. Actually, before I do that, fuck that. Actually, I'm going to... Fuck can I do this? That. I don't know if I can do this. Hold on a second. We'll see. Um, uh, can I cast... How far away? Do I have to... Oh, God damn it! I can't do it because I have to touch him. I have to touch you. I can't touch you. It's You're too far away. Never mind. Forget what I was going to do. I'll just shoot my bow. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Get in, get in, loser. Oh, We're, get in, loser. Oh. We're touching aboliths. <laughs> no, I'm not touching. No, 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 no. Um, so I rolled a nat 20. Nice. Um, but that is plus. It doesn't six. matter. It doesn't matter. Oh. It's double dice. Okay. So now I am going to do. Oh, am I still? They are engaged, so you get sneak attack. So it's ultimately Yay! six sixty six. Damn. Yeah, Rogue. One, two, three. I only have three. I'll have to roll the three. Yeah, roll twice. Uh, or two, twice, yeah. I meant that. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Shit. Okay. Uh, I should have a calculator out for this, but I don't, so hang on. Don't forget to add your modifier at the end. Right. Right. Here's Thank you. Oh, um, six plus... Six plus five plus shit. Plus. Ah, fuck. Oh. Okay. That's still okay. So it's twenty three. Uh, twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty one. Good. And then I shall eat a dick for good measure. You hear a voice in your head. Oh no. Respond. Does he say I don't like dicks. Respond. <laughs> What's a dick? <laughs> I'll Anything show else? you, motherfucker. And I just pull down my pants. <laughs> I am underwater and see none of this. <laughs> Vita sees yes. tiny Barley's little bare butt and immediately averts their little eyes. Red, yeah. red, no, Vita's red, red catches the 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 profile, glances and goes, "Damn, the motherfucker is packing." <laughs> I like it. God. I like it a lot. God damn it. The fear uh, notices a, a heavy splash into the water behind <laughs> the, the 
<laughs> and these are the people I chose to help me from assassins. Yes. Yes. Nailed it. They will not see us coming. <laughs> be too you might hear it though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Marley? I pull my pants back up. <laughs> All right. Perfect. You're up. Yes, so I am going to bite at this whatever the fuck this is. I don't like it. I'm going to bite it. <laughs> eh. If I don't throw my dice everywhere, where the oh, fuck did that go? That's only a 14 to hit. Does not hit. Oh. And that's with advantage, right? That is with advantage. I'm a oh. fucking lizard. I don't oh. have my normal stats. Fair enough. Oh. I want to drop and shift again. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to stay here. Oh. All right. Herschel. Yo, yo. Yeah, so roll an acrobatics or athletics check to see if Herschel can hop, skip, and then which hop one back. Would you, which one would clawing. you prefer, acrobatics or athletics? Whichever one he would use, it doesn't matter. Uh, 21. Okay, we'll say he can, All right, he can attack he's gonna this round. He's going to jump up, take a bite out of his backside, and then uh, jump back. Okay. That is a uh That's taking a bite out of crime. Eighteen to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh six points of uh piercing damage. And then he's basically gonna okay. like hang out on this rock here. Like jump, bap, jump back. Right. Oh, on my turn I'm gonna make evil snail noises. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> it actually is Gaius' turn. Gaius, you're still compelled by this. Oh, uh... I'll say what you should do is make a, because you're a snail, make a single attack roll against the stopper of this bottle. No! All right. All right. <laughs> and since it's technically like an unarmed attack, but you're magical. If you hit, we'll say that you use a 1d4. It's 18. Oh, okay. What? 18 oh. would definitely hit. No. So here's, here's how I'm going to roll this. If you roll a 1d4 and get a 4, you can pop it out. Anything uh. less, you're stuck. Uh. No. It's going to roll a 4. God Three. damn it. Uh -huh. All right. oh, I, had, I had Ben luck on lock, so I was going <laughs> to did not get out. Oh, Don't fair worry. Enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. That is your turn, guys. Red, you're up. Right. Evil Red. Uh, kind of pissed off at, uh, you know, being hit and shit. Uh, I'm going to shift and. Uh, okay. Woo! So I grow a little bit taller. My hands get a little bit, like, lengthier with some sharper points. Uh, just my hair starts growing out everywhere. Start The normally clean-shaven, baby-faced dude starts having, like, a beard and shit. And just, like, just looks angry. And uh, after doing that, so hang on, let me add my... Just describe yes, me. Yes, it's you. You are the inspiration for everything that I do, sir. Um, add my hip, my bonus hit points, and then I'm going to, uh, activate, uh, son of a bitch, where's my shit? Trap. Yeah, where's my trap? I'm going to activate <laughs> Dasein and, uh, do an automatic, an auto crit on this motherfucker. Yep. 
So I'm going to go ahead and roll my double damage dice plus my 1d6 for the hunter's mark. Yep. Uh, nice. Don't you double the dice for the hunter mark as well? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, you do. You double it's all a, dice. It's a oh, dice okay. roll. Yeah, any and I'm dice double roll. it too. Yep. All right. You don't mod. You don't double modifiers, but you double any Eight, dice roll. Seven. Ooh, a five. And eight, eight, sixteen, twenty-three, thirty points of piercing damage. All right. Fuck that motherfucker. And uh, start starting to show some wear. I think that's gonna be my turn for now. All right, Vita, you are up. Donna, you're after the Abolith. Well, actually, right. the Abolith is stunned, so Donna, you're next. All right. Vita takes, kind of walks to the edge of this little clearing here. Here to see what all the fuss is about. See this, sees this writhing, multi-limbed, lamprey-looking motherfucker, and decides they're about done with their nonsense. And Vita's going to cast a good old standby ray of sickness at third level. Okay. Nice. Do it. Finish it. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. Yep. That is a 14. That's not it. Wait, 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 wait. I have lucky, don't I? Uh-huh. So, yeah, I'm going to use a damn luck point. Okay. <laughs> Feels important, so I'm going to re-roll this motherfucker. <laughs> okay. How does a... Spells, blah blah blah. How does a sixteen do? Does not hit. Fuck. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. However, I'm extremely happy. So I've upped the difficulty of the stuff, and I'm. You guys are like actually using your skills. That makes me happy. Vita's very angry. <laughs> That's fair. All right. Anything else? Uh, I mean. Um... Oh, you know what? I haven't done. Let's see, is this the first time you've used a spell? Polymorph. In this... Polymorph was one. That's right, so we need to check there's the polymorph. <laughs> no! Uh, there's just one wild magic surge that's in the bank. No! And then for this one, uh, so only one wild magic surge. Let's okay. see what happens. <laughs> so... Please don't turn the water into jello or something like that. <laughs> oh, shit. You never know! That, that would be great. Be delicious. Um, and let me suddenly pour pull up the wild magic table and look at what this is. Um, who has the most damage right now? No, oh god. I think me with 15. Is anyone lower than 15? No. Uh, yeah, no. No. Lefirith, I think he got his back, so. I got one right. like that, yeah. Right. Sorry in advance. <laughs> it's okay. All that'll happen to me is I won't be a lizard anymore. Oh. It's what's so your, funny when it happens to me. <laughs> what's your spellcasting modifier? Mine? Yes. All right. Uh, my modifier, it's plus three. Okay. So, Rhythm, you get six points of health back. Oh, great. Oh, hell oh yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, that's not as bad. It's always so much funnier when, like, hilarious ensues to Vita because... <laughs> There, the I just want to wish mm -hmm. I wanted to not be evil anymore. Oh. Well, if they kill it, you won't be, but there are other problems coming. All right, so the Abolith is stunned. <laughs> uh, so can't do anything, which is sad for it. Donna, you're up. Oh. Oh. Oh, dude. Um, I 
I think I'm going to go over to that and do inflict wounds. Inflict wounds, all right. So you're swimming, and let's see. All right, I'll I'll allow it this time. But so typically, when you're swimming, your speed's going to be halved. But for now, let's let's say you dove in and got there. This is fine because you dove off. This is fine. Okay. Because I don't I don't want to do the math, so we're good. Okay, good. All right. So the first one is seventeen. Just hits. Okay. So what's that damage? And it is Fuck 18. you. Eighteen? Yeah. Alright. Fuck yeah. Alright. Top of the round is Lafirith, followed by Barley. All right. Quick question. How much longer do you think we'll be in gameplay? Uh probably Nine. not past this round. You Understood. guys have, you guys have it pretty close. Cool. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that is a 26 to hit. Hits. First bit of damage is... Oh, yeah, there we go. 12. Okay. All right. Second one is a 16. Does not hit. Advantage. Uh, can I... Do you, oh, you advantage. Yeah. I Blanking. did not do that both times, so right, let me check do... Check your crit on the first one and then go ahead and reroll. No crit on the first one. Reroll on the second one. That's even worse. So no, no. Okay. Um, and I'm going to... <sighs> All right. Unarmed strike for the third one. And come on. Hit, 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 hit. Yeah. All right. 22. Yes. Going to burn my last key point for another stunning strike. Okay. Straight. Damage is uh, six damage. Um, it is stunned again. Ha. Which is bizarre because it's got a plus five to its strength. <laughs> but just rolling low on that, one, apparently. That's it. I'm done. All right. Barley. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to use. Uh, let's see. I did this already. I don't think I did this already. Oh. Um. I'm going to use Chill Touch. Um. And. Let's see. If I hit. Eighteen to hit. Yeah, that hits. Hell yeah. Okay. Um. Three d six because it's engaged. Oh right, right. Oh wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry. You said chill touch, not oh, man. Yeah, not, that's oh, right. Okay, you're right. Sorry. You're right. Sorry, sorry. Um, so that's two d eight. I think. Yeah. Um. Two d eight plus three d six. I think. No, no, right. no sneak or attack. Is that no sneak. Okay. So it's just two D. That's fine. That's nine damage, and it's necrotic damage. Not that okay. it matters. But. Not for this one, but usually it will. All right. Uh, rhythm. Yes, I will yet again. Try to bite. Because it's what I can do if you don't fucking keep dropping this die. And of course it blends in with my carpet. There it is. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. Yes. So that is going to be... Uh, seven damage. All right. 
We're getting close, but not there yet. Herschel. All right. Or is there anything I just want to do? Really? And uh, yeah, so I, because he's been being a dick, I'm going to go ahead and use intimidating display, <laughs> and I'm going to hiss at him and diffuse a neck furl. Okay. Um, and he has to make a wisdom save. DC. Fourteen. Uh, net one. Damn. Cool. He's frightened for the next three rounds. Okay. That is hilarious. <sighs> that is extremely funny. He's scared of a little lizard. That ah, just... little lizard. Ah. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, uh, gonna do an acrobatics check again. See if he makes the jump. Okay. Uh, what is that? Uh, sixteen for the total. 16 total for the yeah. acrobatics you said? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, attacking with a bite. Uh, that is a 13 to hit. I don't think that hits. Does yeah, so hit. he jumps over from the rock, kind of catches the back of the abolith wrong, and like slips a little bit, but like catches himself enough to push back off uh, before like falling into the water, but doesn't actually do any damage. Fair enough. All right, Gaius, attack that stopper. I'm gonna shoot a love dart at it. Yeah. <laughs> Brad, you're uh, up next. 13. Uh, thirteen would still hit. Roll uh, d4. Two. Two. Okay. Ah. Uh. Corn, you should play the lottery soon. All Red. right, Red is going to uh, take another shot at the okay. old uh, Avalus. Uh, okay. That is a 24 to hit. Hits. All right, he's going to take... That's a number. <laughs> 20, take a 20 of points of piercing damage. Shit. I rolled a seven and I have plus seven and then my plus and I rolled a six for hundred marks. So. Alright, uh, anything that's else? That's it for me. Alright, Vita. You wanna finish this off? Yeah, I'm gonna give that another shot. <laughs> Vita is furious that their good old standby did not work. So uh yeah, they're gonna give Ray of Sickness another shot. God damn it. Throw up, throw up, throw up. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be all over me in the water. <laughs> <laughs> so like um nineteen plus eight. <laughs> yeah. That? yeah, that hits. That's a hit. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> that is four D eight of uh gross wretchy goodness. That is 10 plus 16 and yay. Uh, eight. That is 24 damage. Perfect. So you wild magic surged. <laughs> oh no. And you switched places with the abolith as it vomits itself to death and dies on <laughs> top of barley. <laughs> Tentacles just knock <laughs> over barley, and it, it lays there limp. And Vita's just treading water like, oh, Vita's here now, okay. Yeah. So, I, so what I see is thing in water, and then all of a sudden, Vita. Yes. Arcane energy flies, and then suddenly Vita's there. <laughs> You are out of combat. I'm, <laughs> I'm still clutched against the wall, like slightly hissing. And then I see Vita and I just head tilt. Am I aware that I am a snail? You are. No. You're no, not. polymorph, you would be the intelligence of a snail. 
Yeah, you yeah. take on a one intelligence. Um, <laughs> so, so you're magic. You're no longer magically compelled to attack the stopper, though. Now you're just you don't. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. However, Lefirith and Rhythm, you are now diseased. Ah. Specifically. After another, say, 30 seconds passes, your skin starts to become translucent and slimy. Oh. What? Slimy, you say? If you start to get out of the water, you start to hurt. Ah. Oh, no. I'm going to stay in the water. I mean, I, I will say I was never in the water. I'm, like, clutching the wall. I know. And when you're out of it, it starts to hurt. Fuck. Wait, Lefirth in Rhythm or Lefirth in Vita? Rhythm. Oh. They both got hit by the tentacle attack and failed their constitution uh, saving throw. How long how long have we been in, or how long have I been in the water? Uh at this point about a minute. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm good for a while. Yeah. The good thing is you can breathe underwater. Yeah. <laughs> um so outside of of, you know, you guys are kind of like not aware of what's going on, but this is beyond your healer's capabilities because typically it requires a six level heal spell or higher. Oh, damn. that sound. And oh. I do not think Dane has a level six spell slot yet, right? Or like greater restoration or anything of that nature? So, greater restoration, yeah, yes, it would be that one too. No, I only have like four. Wait, yeah, wait, we could get my grandma. She's really good at healing stuff. She probably has a six level spell. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian. Yes. Brian. I'm Wild Shape. Uh huh. When I drop Wild Shape, do I lose this? No. Are you sure? Yes. Just typically, like, conditions stick with the Page creature. 14. Page yeah, 14. This, one, this one's pretty specific, that the only way to get rid of it is by heal or another disease-curing spell. So okay. it's, not, it's not like any other typical situation. Well, this is ass. Your mom's a typical situation. Because, like, even exhaustion and shit like that dissipate when you drop. What it says specifically is the disease can be removed only by heal or another disease curing spell of six level or higher. Fuck. Oh. You could. Oh, dude, I totally forgot about some stuff. Uh, but, I mean, it doesn't matter now, but uh, I would, I, uh, when I rolled a 16 for that lock, it's actually a, tw um, I could add, I can add a D4. <laughs> uh oh. So I might have gotten a 20. I don't know if it matters, but. <laughs> It, it would have opened the lock and Barley would have been more pissed. <laughs> that'd be, that'd yeah. Be great. Yeah. So, Wait a minute. I have a potion of healing. It's probably not like six level though. No, probably not. Yeah. So it is almost 1030. This went over, but you guys were in a boss fight that I didn't want to interrupt while you guys had Corny here uh, as a guest. Corny can probably plane shift back and get a cleric's help. Hey. Um, yeah, that's that's my thought process. Here's a, here's a question. I have a potion of superior healing, which is like. Oh uh, shit. A a bit no. No. So potions of healing are specifically. Just you know what, man? You know what, man? Take... You know what, man? You're 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 right. Okay, I got it. I got you. All right. <laughs> I promise you oh, I wouldn't wait. put you in a situation you couldn't get get, get out of, but I do Bro, like to that's, make you that's suffer. That's all so you ever do. We it's your king. Tonight session. Thank you. So we will end tonight's session with the realization that Panzink finally caught up to Alan. Oh. oh. Uh, what? So Brian and I also... <laughs> Chlamydia is a hell of a disease. Oh, damn it. As it grows. Also on the snail. Well, everyone, uh, see how we get. Hey, well, everyone. We're gonna we're gonna teach all you kids how to get rid of STDs next uh, next session. <laughs> Woo! In, in three more levels, I could not have been poisoned. Yeah. Ah! I was wondering about that. That's why I asked you. I was like, does that yeah. does that do the other thing too? All right. Well, uh, I guess I will.
uh, we'll see you guys next week then. Uh, we'll go and find penicillin first all thing. Right. <laughs> Eat some bread. Moldy remember bread. to uh, remember. Bye. Somebody say multi bread. Yeah. I am a snail. Remember. <laughs> I'm gonna pour salt on you. I swear to fucking God. Rob commits so hard to whatever we throw. Remember. In. I will put salt. Remember on to ass. like, follow, and subscribe. Ooh, Escar, go. Stop. Yeah, go follow our YouTube. I think our next goal, because we've just kind of been floating. We used to be super into trying to make partner or whatever the fuck we are on Twitch. Uh, but if we get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, we can start getting ad revenue, and that's actually more substantial than Twitch's ad revenue. So, like, go tell people just to subscribe to us. You don't have to watch us. I mean, you should, but, like, you don't have to. Just subscribe to us. Yeah. We need money. Yeah, we're trying to get I money so I get a fucking Well, yeah. everyone, what do that, and we'll love you forever or make love to you forever. Whichever one you want, just let us know. And, uh... Well, the spirit is willing, but the flesh or if you is don't, I'm show up at your house. <laughs> on, I wish you would show up. At on my that, house. except for yours, I'm not going. Back. On that note, on that note, we'll see you all next week, or Corny, we'll see you all sooner than that. So, I'll see you on Wednesday for Primora. Yeah. Primora. Yeah. It's Wednesday tomorrow. Peace yeah. out, bitches. Uh, half yeah, of these people will be off. there. Or yeah. everybody will be. out. I have. Very important announcement. He's gonna fart. Phrase it. Oh, Phrase he it. got a snail emoji in the chat. Oh, Dude, by nice. the Sweet. way, and, oh, before we before we go, happy birthday, happy Rob. birthday, buddy. Oh, hey, happy birthday, oh, Rob. Rob. Rob, who you? I, oh, Rob, so Rob, it. Rob. I, Rob. I, I know it's. Rob. Hang on, I know oh. it's your birthday, Rob. Who you fucking? Cause we know you fuck. Who you fucking for your birthday? <laughs> God. Hand, all of it. I hate this. I hate this. All of this. Rob shows up twice a week every week for this. He loves it. Bye. I, I, Bye, nerds. Bye forever.